<laughs> Sorry. You are my fire. The one. The one. <laughs> Desire. Desire. I thought it was in I know. I, I don't know. And I know. No. See, I, I, I thought was, I right. believe. Y'all done fucked me up. Mm. How was everybody's week? Fantastic. You gonna pop that bottle or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get it popping. As soon as I figure out how to do it. <laughs> I don't do it every every week somewhere else. I thought you were the I thought you were the bottle popper. I usually am. Oh, okay. Man, that nigga sound like you got money. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bottle Popper? And? And? Jesus. <laughs> You don't pull up, you t- slap. Yeah. Hey. <gasps> oh. <laughs> spilling the tea, spilling the tea. Toxicity. Oh my, that's he a done, first. He done spilled the fucking shit all over himself. <laughs> what the fuck that's going to do, Nick? He got it on his jeans. Don't put well, it on the floor. <laughs> you know, Jason. Make sure I'm worried you- about my floor. Not his jeans. Oh my God, what's going to happen to the floor? <laughs> That's what he gets. He gets. He's getting the booze now. I thought you were the professional bottle popper. Yeah, that's never happened. Well, hello, everybody. Take number two. <laughs> <laughs> Shit got wicked. Shit got weird. Uh, we might actually have, and Nicole's over there messing it up. What we got? <laughs> Boom. There's no circle. Oh, there's no circles anymore. Hold on. We can do this. We can do this. Hold, press and hold. And now reach over to the plus button. Yeah, it'll work like that. There we go. All right. Y'all are going to notice some things are a little different over here this week. So, there we go. <laughs> All right. Boom. Welcome, everybody, to the Hangover Podcast. I am your host, Trey, a.k.a. Walter White, a.k.a. This is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting across from me, as always, is the 12th Man Talks very own Mr. AVJO. What the fuck is an AVJO? Oh, wait, what? A uh, AVJO. Yeah, ever Joe. Oh. <laughs> Did this just throw you off real quick? Yeah. All right. Shake it wicked. Sitting all the way to my left, we have the beautiful, the inspiring, the mother. And she has her own full time job. She's an independent woman, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Nikki Pig. Hello, hello. I let that one ride out for all of your accomplishments. Thanks. I appreciate you. And now sitting all the way to my left, all the way across from me, we have a cat named Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So we told you guys a couple of weeks ago while we were doing the Friendsgiving pod that uh, we were going to be doing a trade with Toxicity. We gave them Turtle last week. And this week we decided to swoop in and steal our number one fan, Mr. Jason Dufresne. <laughs> ah. nah. Nah. I surprisingly don't hate it here. You don't hate it here? Really? Isn't it great? Let's give it a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that one doesn't have a pop? No, this one don't pop. Oh. We wasted the one pop we had. Damn, we had a pop because then I was going to do the... Shut up. I don't do that shit. That shit, that shit why? I don't do that shit. Yeah, and I lost almost the whole bottle on my pants. Yeah, that was incredible. I hope that that did at least get recorded because I don't want to lose it. You was thinking of her? <laughs> I should call her. Yeah. <laughs> Everything reminds me of her. All right, so today I am drinking Crown Royal Peach because I'm a basic bitch again this week. And do we have any top fans, Joe? Me? You? Okay. Yeah, I'm watching right. Brady right now, so I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's he playing? Them fucking chanks. You just booed the Saints? Yeah, because I have a feeling this is going to go badly if it's anything like the rest of the season so far. <laughs> I don't know. Last time we played them, it went pretty well. Twice Pro- in one year, no? They haven't watched a game this season. They don't know what the fuck's going on. The, the first game. time we played them this season. We won? Yeah. Oh, wow. With After Jameis Winston got hurt and Look went out. at this shit. Okay. All right. Well, top fans for this year. Uh, we have, for one year, we have Mr. Jason Dufresne and Mr. Larry Frederick. Still here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking our fans again. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Porn star fucks a fan. And then for 11 months, we have Mr. Devin Whitmore. 
And then for six months, we have Mr. Swamp Thing Nicholson himself. And then for one month, we have Mr. Obi-Wan, Mr. Warren Bridgewater. You guys are not as much fun when it comes to talking about tough things. <laughs> Everybody just gets mad quiet. Oh, uh, but shout out to Swamp Thing and Mr. Orm Bridgewater. I saw the other day they did their first uh what was it a test show? Nah. And uh Joe, are you here today? I just I just responded to you. I know, but you yeah, but you like you like all in the nah. fucking I am watching football, <laughs> sir. Right, I'm sorry. You want me to get up and go back to my spot? Yeah. yeah. Get out on the fucking couch. <laughs> get the fuck out. But uh yeah, so how did it sound? Their first little test show. It was cool. It was cool? Yeah. I'm definitely curious to see what it is. Fucking DJs. Is there a way we can listen to the test show or is that just like it was like a, it was it was on they did it out live. It was on Facebook Live. Yeah, ah. Facebook Live. Yeah. So yeah, definitely shout out to them. Uh Mr. Swamp Thing was on standby today because uh I didn't know who was gonna be able to come. Uh Mr. T R T L uh jumped ship and we fired him. And uh <laughs> 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 and uh mr average joe over there was stuck at work a little late so we didn't know if he would be able to make it tonight but he was able to come last minute so we told swamp things stay your stupid ass at the house <laughs> shout out to him staying at home shout out to the degenerates man y'all guys are awesome as fuck i'm gonna leave y'all and go by them <laughs> i'm yeah? fucking sick of it here oh yeah yeah joe hates it here ah. i fucking hate it <laughs> So, yeah, as I was saying before we found out that this podcast was not recording at all, I found a Taco Bell KFC uh, mashup restaurant the other day. And, dude, it was, it was fucking life-changing. I'm telling you, man, I've passed by a couple of And by life-changing, he means he's going to die because he's going to kill his arteries. That's I'm okay with it. And I'm okay with it. Because I, I, like, they used to have the one right there on the expressway, and it was, like, Long John Silver's in KFC. But then nobody gave a shit, so it's now it's just a KFC. And then I've passed by before, and I think I saw like a Pizza Hut KFC, and then the I've other seen day a Pizza Hut KFC. Yeah, and then the other day I passed by, and it was a Taco Bell KFC, and I was like, I need to try this. And I tell you, there is nothing quite like eating a spicy KFC chicken sandwich, pausing your sandwich, eating a chalupa, and then going back <laughs> to your KFC sandwich. Just what I want, a nachos, bell grande, and then some KFC red beans. Exactly. Or just like a 12-piece, you know, dark, extra crispy, and then a quesadilla. Top it all off. It sounds tasty. And putting Diablo sauce on all of it. All of it. How you feel, Joe? I got to sneeze like really bad. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Look up at the light. No, I can make myself sneeze. I just don't want to look disgusting. Elephant. Yeah. You don't want to look disgusting? Yeah, because like... What faces do you have to make to make his He's got to stick his finger in his nose. Yeah, I'll, I'll play with the inside of my nose. And I, yeah! <laughs> You're disgusting. I'm so glad we're all here today. So, uh, <laughs> quick announcement. Um, we uh, we actually had a, a guest that was supposed to come on tonight, but unfortunately, he got wrapped up, so he's not going to be able to uh, call in and talk to us. But um, uh, to preface, it turns out that the Hangover podcast has gotten media entry into Comic-Con in January in New Orleans. We are going to Comic-Con, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That was one of those things where I got the email and they were like, yeah, we'll go ahead and give you guys some media passes and let y'all come on in. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they, uh, they asked me who I would like to interview. And I was like, the fuck out of here y'all gonna let me do that and i was like oh wait they don't know me okay cool and um yeah so i i sent in a list because they have a stacked cast of characters going to comic-con this year and uh in new orleans so and i'm only specifying that because i said that earlier and somebody was like get the fuck out of here bro you get to go to comic-con in san diego and i was like no 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a much smaller scale but what the fuck? All right. I know it's still recording, so just keep playing with it. Try to get it to come back. But um, so I basically sent in. So the Sons of Anarchy are going to be there. Three of them at least. And then from there, we have um, the Clerks. The Clerks are going to be there. Jay and Silent Bob. I haven't seen Joe make an expression yet, so I'm curious to see how hey, Yo, feeling. baby, ever had your ass licked by a fat man in an overcoat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, yo, before you kill yourself, let me get a crack at that pussy first. <laughs> let me find out. 
What's funny is, out of all the people that are going to be going to Comic Con, those guys are the biggest fucking geniuses because everybody is doing the same thing. They're doing obviously autograph or photo op, so you can either go get something signed by them or you can take a picture with them for however much they charge. Well, Jay and Silent Bob, the way that they're doing it is, um, like you can take, you know, get an autograph or, or get a picture with. Uh, Jason Muse, the man who plays Jay, or Kevin Smith. Uh, you could do an autograph or a picture with him. And then from there, they have, um, you could take a picture with both of them. And that costs like a certain package. You could uh, get an autograph by both of them. Or you can take a picture with them in Jay and Silent Bob out attire. So it's like. They got different tiers. Yeah, they got different tiers for them. Like, uh, I know Ryan Hurst is going to be there. Everybody's favorite from. Um, what you call it, uh, Sons of Anarchy. And like for him, it's like you could pay so much money, get a uh, get an autograph or pay so much money. What is going on? Nothing. <laughs> Keep talking. It didn't, it didn't seem like nothing. I think Joe just took a shot of that pickle of vodka. Did, did you take the shot already? Yeah, was I not supposed to? Yeah, you weren't oh supposed to. God. Why? Anyway. So hey, I don't boy, fuck with y'all. Pull yourself <laughs> another one. I want to see that face again. So yeah, so basically it was like <clears throat> they I think those guys are like the biggest geniuses because now it's like, all right, you could pay us individually, you can pay us to take a picture with us just as us, or we'll put we'll throw in the Jay and Silent Bob gear and you can take a picture with us together. Tight. But um what ended up happening is, yeah, all the I said I want to interview the Sons of Anarchy. I want to interview the Clerks. I want to inter- Anthony Mackie's going to be there. Captain Fucking America, the New Orleans boy himself, <laughs> he's going to be there. He fucking went crazy. He was like, I got options. Yeah, right. So I was like, I want to interview. Straight to the top. Mm-hmm. Going well, straight for it. Scott just eat the. Oh well, uh, bend it around a little bit. Scott little. just responded Let's and make said, "Make sure that that red light up here comes on." Go ahead. You just responded and said, "All of them." Yeah, all of them. All of them. Well, there's some of them in there that I'm not too big of a fan of. So it's like, I don't want to just be thirsty and just be like, yeah, just let me interview whoever. Because then it's like, then the, the interview might not like be genuine. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'll just yeah. be trying to come up with shit on the spot because I don't really know who this person is. So he he eventually said that he was got Well, basically all the people that I mentioned that I would like to interview, he was like, yeah, none of those people are available. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. So from there... He was basically just like, all right, I'll send you in a list of people that are available, and you could just pick who you would like to interview. And um, then I noticed Kevin Conroy is going to be there. Uh, You might remember him as the voice of Batman in the animated series and the voice of Batman in the Arkham Knight series. So basically, in my opinion, one of the best Batman to ever do it. And I'm waiting on the email back to see if he's going to be available because I was just like, hey, I noticed he's there too. So how about him? And they were like, oh, well, you know, Batman, he just kind of slides in on people without telling anybody. So we'll see if we can make it work. <clears throat> so for that, uh, shout out to us for once, God damn it, the Hangover Podcast. We're going to Comic-Con as media personalities, motherfuckers. So if y'all are going to be in the area, the tickets are very cheap for the uh, talent that's going to be there. I think for a three-day pass, it's like 80 bucks. And then I think for like another 30 bucks, you can get like premium tickets and like get access to like a lounge. And I think they're doing like some kind of special showcase and a panel that you'll be able to go to. They always got them different <clears throat> conventions like that that come to New Orleans that nobody really knows about. Mm-hmm. Like a couple years ago, I think they had, what was it, Wizard Con? Wizard Con was the one that was here. Ever, that was our Comic Con. Oh, That's okay. the one that came every year. But apparently uh, this new one, Fan Expo, bought them out. Ah. So now... That we're gonna be uh we're gonna be going to Fan Expo, but uh yeah definitely y'all uh, if y'all want to come out fuck with us we're gonna be running around with the camera interviewing random people hopefully inter- maybe interviewing some bigger people you never know but we'll be out there just having fun with the camera bullshit and Nikki P will be out there dealing with our bullshit and fangirling and I just love all try the- not to cry again yeah. I just love all the Deadpool and Spider-Man videos that come out of Comic Con. Oh, it's always incredible. It's always fun. There's some really good Deadpool uh, costumes. There was a lot the year we went. Yeah, uh, I think we were leaving, and they had a guy dressed as Deadpool and a guy walking up next with him, uh, next to him, dressed as Cable, and they were both walking. I was like, "All right, yeah, I gotta get a picture with you guys. Y'all fucking awesome." But if it makes you feel any better, dear, the red light's on, so it looks like it's still recording. But anyway, I'm a fucking go, and every time I see a Batman, I'm a fucking just pass out on the floor. No, they, no, you gotta dress as his parents. Oh, no, he gonna get it. it just they gonna get it. On just gonna pass mind. the fuck out. It's and be like, I'm your dad. Uh. But then it wouldn't make sense. Like, they actually had people dressing up as... Batman. If you dress up as Batman's motherfucking Batman and you don't know Joe. what I'm doing when I pass out on the floor... I would just think you're a fan. Like, oh, you're Batman. 
and pass out. Because uh, the people that... Uh, yeah, so it's 20 other motherfuckers up in this building. Yeah, but his, his parents okay. didn't pass out. They died. His parents were also... What do you want me to do? Shoot Imagine. myself? And, <laughs> like right there on the spot? 20 and I mean, times? And I mean, <laughs> his dad was in, was in a three-piece suit when yeah. this happened. I mean... What you can you do, roll. Own a suit, Joe? That's why I nigga shot him. Do you even own pants or sleeves? A shirt with sleeves on it? I own them. <laughs> I got like a bunch of dust on it. I do not own slacks, though. I don't. All right. Well, for the Hangover Podcast, uh, I want to salute real quick. Uh, Jason brought us some pickle vodka. This shit trash. It's trash. That shit trash. Oh, I'm terrified now. Uh, it's amazing. Smell okay. It smells like sweet pickle vodka. Okay. So salute to you guys. Oh. Cheers. And thank you all guys that listen to us. Oh, that was hot trash. Oh, man. Give me another one. It was really good. <laughs> he said it was hot trash. Give me another one. I think uh, it would taste better if it was a little more chilled. Probably. See, not, I don't, it's not terrible. That's the thing. I don't like the pickled vodka chilled. Oh, well. <clears throat> not bad. I don't like the pickled vodka. <laughs> but you no, know, the it's pickle. Making me think about his Jameson. But you see, I'm, a, I'm the same way with my Jameson. It's you chill, you chill my Jameson. Jameson. I am upset. Really? I can't drink like that lukewarm fucking alcohol. It'll drive it me insane. It goes down so much nicer when it's cold. You know? Indeed. Nah, I like my whiskey <clears throat> warm. <laughs> I mean, wait. Are you just like sitting there sipping it or the shot? Oh, the shot. Oh, okay, that's the a... shot or the drink. I don't, I don't like it. Or I put like two ice cubes in it. Yeah, I was about to say, don't water it down. They'll kill you for that. But anyway, so how was everybody's week, man? I finally watched the video of the Island Boys, so I know what everyone's talking about. You just saw that? Yes, very recently. I mm-hmm. kept putting it off because I'm like, God, I bet that's stupid. And then one day I happened <laughs> to see it. <laughs> Still haven't watched it. Really? Why not? I have no interest. Yeah, that's I what mean, it turned into. The first actual video I watched of them was... With the Jake Paul pod, or the, was it Jake or Logan? Which Logan I, Paul. Logan Paul's mm-hmm. podcast, mm-hmm. which I just got to say, when Logan Paul is the calmest head in the room, yeah, we have a problem. Is that when they were about to fight? Yes. Yeah, I saw the video of like one of the guys that was in the room, and he like did a whole video like the Island Boys tried to fight me. And like all I saw was them standing up looking at this dude going, you know we thugging, right? You know we thugging. And I was Ooh. like, who says that? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, set up the mangles again, Dare. Dare. I don't want to. It's pointless. You're right. Yeah. But, um. That, that shit rock like that. But, so how was it? The Island Boys. Oh. Uh, awful? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing good? I lo- I mean, I lost brain cells. Yeah. yeah. It just looked like, ign- it looked like a bunch of ignorance all in one video. <laughs> you watch it for too long, words get hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> words get hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what the fuck happened this week? Let's talk House about some bullshit. All right, so uh, how's Toxicity doing, by the way? We're doing great. Yeah, who cares? You're not with them no more. Yep. hey <laughs> Wait, do they know you're here? They have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe is going to see this tomorrow. She's going to see the thumbnail with me in the picture. Mm-hmm. She's going to scroll past it, scroll back, and go, wait, what? <laughs> We should just wait. We should all take a selfie with like Jason in the front, like this, and then that be the thumbnail. Of just the, the thumbnail of the video. Yeah, him like putting up the peace sign, like yeah, I'm not going back. I'm not. I'm out of here, guys. And the best part is, is, my girlfriend is at her house right now. Yeah, my girlfriend knows I'm here. Okay, but I told her I was. She's like, not gonna snitch. No. Okay. Cool. You know she's gonna tell her you say. Nah, she know the rules. <laughs> you be punished. You be punished from dick sign. She'll sleep on the couch. Hey. Yeah. I hope she say something. Put her ass in the trunk. <laughs> Oh, shit. So, uh, but yeah, if anybody uh, didn't catch the friends given or whatever the case may be, definitely check out Mr. Jason Dufresne and the rest of that crazy cast over at the Toxicity Podcast. They're dope, I guess. They're okay. Still a dumb fucking name. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't wear any merch. I honestly don't own any. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So That's who, fair. Whose hoodie was it that you wore for the... Uh, oh, no, and you hat. Just, you just wore the hat. It was, hat was, it was Zoe's hat. Oh, damn. So y'all just got like a little box that y'all have at the floor every time y'all do an episode? Like, here, grab what you're wearing this week. <laughs> Look, my child sports high as fuck. We've been over hey, this. Hey, you're right. You're right. Okay. Hey, come fuck with us, dog. We give you a cup. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm saying? You get a cup, you join up, son. We take care of our employees. Well, they don't take care of me. Nah, fuck Joe. Yeah. 
<laughs> Joe Bailey get a show. I saw be drinking all these fucking liquor. Oh, and uh, something else big that happened this week. Uh, fucking Spider Man dropped. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. I got you, man. The new motherfucking Spider Man is here, ladies and gentlemen. It has finally happened. We finally got the Spider Man that we have been waiting for. Uh, has anybody else in here gotten to see it? No. No? Are you? Do you plan on it? Uh, not. I'm. I'm not a movies guy. I'm not. Oh, so you're not like into the MCU? Oh no, universe? I'm, I'm huge into the MCU. I'm not a going to the movie theater person. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you're saying. Uh, so do spoilers not bother you? No, not really. Not one bit. Huh? Not one bit. Okay, well, I did promise some people that I would not talk about it this week just because they don't want it to be spoiled. Y'all get two Bruh. weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. We're talking about this two shit. Two weeks. Bruh. That's it. You know, I fucking... Sean. I fucking stopped by Smurf yesterday, and like... He was like, I saw the new Spider-Man movie. If you ruin it, I, please don't make me have to go through the trouble Bruh, he of bleeping like, you out. He was like, um... I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I didn't was, know if he told you something. And he was like, he was like I want to tell you, oh. but I, I don't want to spoil it for you. And then... Typical, Proceeded to spoil Typical spoil Smurf. It. Starts talking about the movie. Okay. So, that's the thing. It's funny because we were actually just at um, Nicole's grandparents' house having like a little birthday get-together because... Oh, God, I have to let that fucking shot settle. It has a weird aftertaste. <clears throat> yeah, the aftertaste is what kills it. Yeah. But, um, yes, this week is Miss Nikki P's birthday. <laughs> She's going to be the big two nine. You know, I mean, <clears throat> what? You old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, shut up! This is my last week of my twenties. I'm already wait. 30. You're not even thirty yet. <laughs> no, I make thirty. Not this Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Fuck yourself. I make twenty nine this Wednesday. Hey, so you coming to our birthday party? Y'all having a birthday party Wednesday? We're going to the bulldog. All right, but anyway, we we'll talk about this later. <laughs> um, <laughs> None of y'all are invited. Don't show up. <laughs> you bugging? Pull up, man. Buy me a drink. <laughs> Yeah, if you a fan, pull up, buy a drink. Yeah. But uh That's different. But we actually we were over there and what's funny is her little cousin's there and me and him like we're we what is it, like an eleven year age difference between us? Yes. But I will sit there and just talk to him all day about this nerd shit. He doesn't like it. Well I mean obviously he likes us because we're his family, but like literally he only ever talks at family gatherings if Scott's there. And if Scott's not there, then he's like, where's Scott? <laughs> <So> <laughs> the only time we hear his voice, normally it's, hey, David, how's, how's college going? Because he just went to college. And he's like, it's cool. And that's pretty much all you get. But if Scott's there, then like they sit outside and talk the entire time. You got damn right. You want to know why? Because that's my guy. <laughs> all right. Shout out, David. He don't even watch this show. But yeah, babe, let him know. I shout him out. <laughs> But uh, me and him were sitting there talking earlier about the movie, and he hasn't seen it yet. So he was just like, yeah, please just don't spoil it. So I got to practice not spoiling the movie by talking to him. And what's funny is, so obviously before this movie came out, there were a lot of um, rumors about what was going to be in the movie, what was going to happen, and like all of these other things. But what's crazy to me is the way that they are going about harping on don't spoil the movie yes i almost feel like in and of itself in a way gives away a lot yeah like almost because they i feel like they have never gone this hard about don't spoil no spoilers like all this other shit The, the best that i can remember is when the trailer for the last Spider-Man movie came out, they had a, a, a disclaimer before the movie, before the trailer started, where they were basically just like, because they dropped the trailer not too long after Endgame came out. So they were just like, all right, please, if you haven't seen Endgame yet, go, don't watch this trailer. Go watch Endgame, then come back and watch this trailer because it has major spoilers in it. And that's when they talked about like the death of Iron Man. So... That I understood, but this one, like, they're literally running an ad campaign about do not spoil this movie, which to me almost gives stuff away, like, almost. I'm going to watch it and then write about it on Facebook. You going to be that piece of shit? Yeah, I'm going to write the (laughs) whole fucking thing on Facebook. Sean's going to kill you. I mean, good. I'll finally get to see him. That's one of the things about the MCU. Once you build up a universe like this that Mm -hmm. people are so invested in, it gets to the point of... If you say one thing, you you've given away the whole movie. Yeah, because we all kind of have a picture of the way we want it to go mm-hmm. and the way we think it's going to go. Right. Nine times out of ten, 
You're typically right. Right. Especially <clears throat> once you're, what, 24, 25 movies deep? Probably 26, <laughs> something like you that. Know. But it was, um, I can say this. Amazing. It was amazing. I will say that. Like, as far as a movie goes in the within the MCU, it was fucking amazing. Like, if you're an outsider, you don't watch, you don't keep up with the MCU movies, and then you just watch this, you're going to be fucking confused. But as a puzzle piece within like the massive brand that is the MCU, it was amazing. Now I did say, and this is my opinion, Nikki might feel differently. I didn't feel of this move the way I felt. The- I didn't feel about this movie the way I felt about Endgame. Like when Endgame dropped and we went and saw that in theaters, there's a feeling in that, in that movie theater that we'll never get back. Correct. I still get chills. <laughs> yeah. But he, but here's the difference between a movie like Spider-Man and Avengers Endgame. Right, 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 right. You're talking the difference between a building block to the castle mm-hmm. and the final tower piece that yeah, yeah, on yeah. top. Okay. Yeah, all right. I see what you're saying. Once that final piece is on top, you can see the masterpiece for what it is. Mm-hmm. As also a, true. As opposed to a brick on the tower. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So, definitely, if you haven't gotten to see it yet, definitely take the time to go see it. Uh, It was... I also feel like this is one of the first movies where they let Tom Holland's Spider-Man lead. Like, I feel like the first movie, he kind of had help from Iron Man. The second movie, he kind of had help from Nick Fury. And then in this movie, he completely took the reins and went. Like, Tom Holland... People have been whispering for years, is Tom Holland going to be the guy to replace Robert Downey Jr.? Which he'll never be able to do. But as a lead for the MCU, I can see it now. Like, now he's given us everything in one movie. We laughed, we cried, we cheered. We- so, you're... you're ref- and everything. Yeah. Just you're referring great. to Tom Holland as an actor or spider-man as a superhero as tom holland as spider-man within the mcu and also oh, spider-man okay. as a superhero i feel like this movie was the first time that it actually reflected like a true spider-man story yeah and then sorry you got like all the villains came back and it was just like it's she even laughed earlier and we were making fun of people within the uh the theater because it was like uh you've seen the trailer i'm assuming yeah <clears throat> The big arm comes out. <clears throat> Hello, Peter. And it's Doc Ock. We saw it in the, in the trailer, right? Yeah. Doc Ock shows up. People start applauding behind us. And we were just like, this, mo- this moment? Like, <laughs> like right now? Like, we, we all knew this was coming. Like, that was the whole point, is that we knew that these guys were all coming back. So it was like, but even still, it was like, even though they ruined it in the trailer, you still had a moment of chills going down your spine when, like, Doc Ock comes up out of nowhere. And it's like, holy shit, like, this movie literally came out almost 20 years ago, and we're experiencing experiencing it again as adults. And that's the Marvel, no pun intended, that's one of the Marvels of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Indeed. Is they're taking movies that were not even a part of their franchise, or that, like, the MCU wasn't even thought of yeah. when these movies came out. Indeed. And you are reaching back in time mm-hmm. and drawing them back in. Right, right, right. So, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it. Like we said, we'll give it a couple of weeks, and then we'll go from there. But as of right now, I will say, I want, if, if you don't put Spider-Man No Way Home in the top three, it's top five MCU movie easily. Yeah. One thing that was different between Endgame and this one, I don't, don't know spoil. what happened. <laughs> But, like, I'm pretty sure I suffered through a freaking anxiety attack. Yeah. The entire, like, my chest was so, like, beating heavy. At one point, I started getting nauseous. I'm like, am I really doing, like, is this happening? For a is fucking this, movie. For a fucking movie. Because <laughs> yeah. all the buildup and everything, and you're like, God, I hope this, like, lives up to the buildup. Yeah. And then, and and the then whole just... time, my heart's just pounding out of my chest. And I'm like, I had to take a couple deep breaths certain points to be yeah. like, okay, it's, there's, it's a, there movie. Was, it's a there's movie. There's a couple yeah. points in there that like I started having a fucking panic attack. And then it was like, yo, it was it was insane. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, like five minutes in, you're like, fuck yeah, like this is a yep. great movie. Yeah. 
There was like I, th- I even think I looked over at her at one point, and she was texting somebody, and she was like, "We're six minutes in, and my mind's fucking blown. <laughs> like something crazy happens in the first six minutes." So it's like, yeah, it gets you hooked pretty early on, and then it just keeps fucking reeling See, I, it in. I gotta go back and watch the first two Spider Man in the MCU. Uh, what like Homecoming, Homecoming and, and Far from Home, Far from Home, yeah. Because you haven't I've seen, seen them. I've seen Homecoming twice. I've seen. Bits and pieces of Far From Home. I haven't watched it straight through. I would like Far watch the from, first hour, fall asleep. Right. Far From Home was good. Um, it was really good, actually. But it was just uh, like it, 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 it hinted at the idea of the multiverse. And I remember that was like the big upset about that movie was like we thought Far From Home was going to be the introduction to the multiverse. And then it wasn't. So... As good as it was, it was still one of those things where, like, we had such high expectations, and then it just didn't pan out the way we thought it was. So, but still a good movie nonetheless. You just got to kind of drop your expectations, you know what I mean? And just enjoy it for what it is. But, I mean, like y'all have said before, you know, trust Marvel. Trust Marvel. They That's exactly what it is. They haven't let us down yet. I mean, Indeed. In my opinion, the worst movie they did was, what, Thor 2? Uh, I, I vote Black Widow. That's I just. Uh, I'm going Thor two. Really? I thought Thor two dark, was okay. Dark, I thought it was okay as a standalone movie. I put it in my bottom five. You put it into the MCU as a whole. The only thing it did was introduce an Infinity Stone. Yeah, Captain Marvel was the, probably the worst one. You think so? Yeah, I wasn't Absolutely. a fan of Captain Marvel Absolutely. just because of her as a character. Like that's the only reason. I put her in my top three. Uh, yeah. Bottom three, actually. No, oh. I'm sorry. Bottom oh, three. No. Yeah, no, I fucked up. My bottom three. No. Black ass. Widow. I'd say Captain Marvel's top ten, probably number eight for me. Really? I mean, one ass. day I'll sit there and I'll, I'll write it out. I actually have to finish watching the MCU movies. Like, there's a couple that we still haven't seen. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I just finished watching The Winter Soldier for the first time the other day. Great. And that was really good. You know what I mean? I just don't like Captain America. So, that took me a while to get behind. I think he's corny. Like I think his character is a whole like that like you you have DC Superman you have Marvel Captain America both of them are just cornballs to me. But you see like so the thing that puts me in the mindset of Captain America you remember Vic that I used to work the door with? <laughs> Who doesn't remember Vic? When I you're say supposed to teach me how to make a ghillie suit. That was that was Mister Captain America. Yeah, indeed. And he's the one that put me in the mindset to think about Captain America. Well, Vic he, to me is a less corny version of Captain America. But Captain America was the comeback to Superman. Yeah. With, Which is also a corny character. But in my opinion, Superman was... He was broken. Sure. What power didn't he have? Exactly. That's what sucks about him. Exactly. So, <laughs> wh- what are you worried about? Captain America, on the other hand, isn't this... He can get shot in the face and die. Yeah, he's yeah. not this all-powerful <laughs> Superman. Didn't that fuck you up, Joe, when you heard about that? Yeah, I didn't find that out until I rewatched all of them, like in chronological order. I didn't know he can be shot and die. Why do you think he has a shield? <laughs> I don't know. Just nigga. to be a badass? Prop, nigga. It's, it's fucking vibranium. I'd want one, too. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> even if I was bulletproof, I'd probably still run around with a vibranium yeah. shield. But, uh, he throws it and it comes back. I want one. It bouncy. Yeah. So yeah, Super, <laughs> the character Superman to me was like that kid on, I think I've said this before, like Superman's like that kid on the playground where y'all were running around playing like magical powers. Like, ooh, I just shot you with a fireball. And he's like, no, you can't shoot me with a fireball because I'm fire resistant. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I just shot you in the chest with an AK-47. No, I'm, I'm also bulletproof. <laughs> it's like, so can you die? I mean, I mean, yeah, I can, but like in an uber-specific way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, you're trash. <laughs> yeah. I think you're just upset because you chose to love Batman and he can die. <laughs> and that's why you hate But in how many comics... <laughs> now I feel attacked. But in how many comics did Batman... Friggin' hand out these hands to Superman. You heard me? <laughs> Batman a troll. I don't know that answer. <laughs> Batman a troll. He just be he beat up niggas that be at work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Them dudes just be doing their fucking job. He show up and punch me in the back of their fucking head. My favorite is whenever people play that stupid ass game where they're just like, oh, okay, Scott. Okay, Scott. So Batman versus the Hulk. The Hulk, motherfucker? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, Batman is that superhero where it... it all right, Batman versus who? Versus the Hulk? Okay. Uh, do they just run into each other on the street? Okay, the Hulk. Yeah, the Hulk wins. Does Batman have time to plan? 
Batman is a superhero. Then he's going to win. Based off of preparation. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You know. But anyway... So before we get too deep into like we're tw- we're thirty three minutes in, people have already we started clicking off. <laughs> well, yeah, no, people are just gonna start being like, nope, they're talking about fucking Marvel. Uh, but yeah, definitely, if you get a chance, go see Spider Man No Way Home. Uh, that that was probably one of the best executed MCU movies I've seen in a very long time. So definitely go give them a chance. Uh, with movies being talked about, let's jump into the home team trailer. I'm going to say, you see everybody's kind of like mixed reaction, like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Me, me, me. Did everybody get to watch it? Yes. yes. Joe? Watch what? Okay. So uh, I don't know. No, I don't know what that is. Okay. So Home Team is the movie coming out on Netflix in January. It is the movie that I, we all heard about was being made about Sean Payton when he had to take the year off because of the Bounty Gate scandal, right? I should going to be trash. Uh, well... We found out a while back that Kevin James was going to be playing Sean Payton. And I was like, that's weird. I can't picture Kevin James in a serious role. Hmm. And then last week they dropped the trailer. Don't worry, you don't have to. And don't worry, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about seeing <laughs> Kevin James in a serious role because they made sure to make this as funny as possible. So, uh, mm, initial thoughts. It looks like a football version of the Bad News Bears. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. That nailed it. You deserve that. That's uh spot the fuck on. Yeah. <laughs> Bad news bears with Sean Payton coaching them in football. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was just that thing where it was and now granted, like maybe the movie uh, it's supposed to be based on a true story. So it's like maybe they took the situation and they added some light to it and made it fun and, you know, whatever the case may be. Maybe some of those, you know, big you know, silly moments did happen on the field. But obviously, like you could tell from the trailer, a lot of it's overly exaggerated. But it was still just like, I don't know. I feel like I don't really have an interest. Yeah. It would probably be one of those movies that like if it ends up on Netflix or it's a Netflix movie, so yeah. Will. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It'd probably be like, oh, I'm bored. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. I've watched <clears throat> everything else I want to see on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched the Vampire Diaries four times over. Go ahead, Can Joe. I watch now. Tell him about it. Yeah. Oh my. Joe, God. are you here? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I don't What's, know nothing about the fucking movie. I don't. This, I haven't seen a trailer. Or nothing. How's this game going, Joe? Very upsetting. Why? Oh, that's good. That's a good time for us. If it's upsetting for Joseph. It's six of things up. Well. Shouldn't that be helping out your fantasy? Yeah, but you don't want Tom Brady to lose. I'm telling you, whenever Joe, <laughs> whenever <laughs> Tom Brady is playing any team and Joe has like something, some kind of connection to the other team, it's like, this sucks because I don't want Tom Brady to lose, but I need Tom Brady to lose. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't feel like, I don't feel that way about any other team but the Niners. Anyway, so, yeah. Speaking of trailers. What you got? Alba's Dumbledore. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm mixed there. I'm so I'm very mixed about the trailer that came out because I really wanted Johnny Depp to remain in the movie so I'm kind of upset that he's not in it yeah and it looks like they pulled the trigger too fast on that because now a whole lot of information is coming out yeah. that uh, Johnny Depp might be completely innocent actually yeah. and now there's really nothing they could do because apparently the only good thing that did happen and we did talk about this on the show um because they asked him to resign, he did so willingly, but he also got all the fucking money he was promised. So get your bag, my guy, because you earned it. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got the bag. <laughs> so, yeah, but we noticed upon seeing the trailer that, in fact, Johnny Depp is gone. And they've literally casted somebody else to replace his character. Who, if I'm not mistaken, because I am not a big Harry Potter like fanatic like this one is... But Grindelwald, as far as like the Fantastic Beasts series that's going on, he's pretty much the villain, correct? Yes. Yeah, he's he... also Dumbledore's boyfriend. I'm sorry, what? Can you please talk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, technically, he was Dumbledore's boyfriend at some point. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are you making that up or is. No. No. Th- because, uh, what's her name? J.K. Rowling came out and obviously said that Dumbledore was actually gay. Yeah. And yep. then it came out that um, they, in fact, dated. I think, I don't know if they were like back in school when they dated or what, but 
yeah, that's why they're like, you know, Ur. it's so at each other. Joe, how do you feel about Dumbledore being a homosexual? That's cool. Okay, good, good. I just <laughs> want to make sure that this show was all inclusive. Glad you're here, Joe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe's not here today. Yeah. He just got I, I am work. here. I just no. I, I haven't seen these trailers or, or, or like the like heard about the movies. I'm uh, looking forward to it because they're back at Hogwarts and there's so many scenes that, and so like the Fantastic Beasts. You just spit in my house? No. <laughs> okay. No, I keep turning my nose away because I'm sniffling. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he just went. <laughs> well, all right, sure. No. Make yourself at home. Already spilled all over the floor. Is my Nikki, is, Nikki was about to freak the fuck out. <laughs> she was like, "Wait, you did God, what? You got it wet already? <laughs> Shit." Pass me that Bel Air. I actually heard it was a pretty good champagne. I would like to try it. But, but anyway, um, continue. So the movies back at Hogwarts kind of thing. So the Fantastic Beast movies by themselves are like mm, compared to the actual Harry Potter movies. So I'm actually looking forward to the fact of them being like back at Hogwarts and learning a little more about Dumbledore and everything. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. So you're you're basically expecting eventually that these movies will catch up with the original series. Mm, I don't know. Ho- I mean, hopefully one can hope. Regardless, I'm going to go see the movie. It just, it doesn't compare to Harry Potter itself. Would you like to eventually see, like, as a Harry Potter fan, are you a Harry Potter fan, Jason? Yes. Big time. I've read all of the books, and I keep up with a lot of the... Fantastic Beasts yeah. and all oh, that? I've, I've seen all of those. <clears throat> I keep up with a lot of the going goings on. Okay, so, like, what is the hope for Harry Potter fans? The future? Of for, the series, for or... me, the Fantastic Beast series, it's, I think it's more or less explaining how Dumbledore got the Elder Wand. Because if I'm not mistaken, even um, Tom Riddle, he isn't born until like the like four years before the end of where Fantastic Beast is supposed to end. Yeah. So. I don't see it catching up to the original Harry Potter series. And you know, the originals aren't going to go into, like, they're not going to go play their characters again. So that's upsetting because I wouldn't want them to change out those characters ever mm-hmm. well, or remake them. That's going to be the most awful time in my life is when I'm older and they go to remake the Harry Potter movies. And I'm going to be like, fuck now. You stop I still, it. I still can't see. Ha- there was one movie I saw on Netflix, the dude that played Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. He was some kind of. Live demon or something oh was that like the house when he was oh shit what was it he like, no i'm with you now <laughs> he, he, kept, he kept progressively like turning into a demon as the movie went on but the whole time all i'm thinking to myself is harry potter harry what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> but harry <laughs> but harry <laughs> go back so, to hogwarts harry <laughs> so is voldemort wait you're saying voldemort's not alive yet in the in no this? oh Voldemort, if I'm not mistaken, Voldemort has not been born yet in the fans' eyes. All right, well, I already know that this episode will be aptly named Nerd Alert Part 2. Well, um, you know how it shows in the first movie how Tom Riddle's a student when Dumbledore's already the headmaster. Headmaster. So that's how (laughs) it's... Whatever. He's seen the movie enough. He knows. He just play mm, pretending. mm -mm. uh, I've seen the first... I've seen the first oh, two. No, sorry, it's the second movie. Chamber, yeah, Chamber, Chamber of Secrets. Chamber. I've seen the first two Harry Potter movies the most, and then three through fucking hell. Um, I have I've seen once. I bought a game, y'all, because Scott bet me my knowledge. No, no, don't lie to these people. She walked up with a game <laughs> that's literally based around all the movies. Uh, yeah, Harry Potter movie tri- uh, trivia, and she looked and she was just like, "Yeah, I want to get this, but." I don't want to spend twenty dollars on it, and you know it's just one of those things. I'm like, I bet you don't know shit in that thing. She's like, all right, well now I gotta buy it because <laughs> <laughs> I gotta prove you wrong. <laughs> like whatever you need, whatever you need for motivation, babe. I got you. I spend money on stupid shit all the time. <laughs> this could be one of yours. It was. It's a good game so far. We played it once, and I kicked his ass rightfully. So again, I watched the first three movies a few times, and then I watched the rest of them once. <laughs> we gotta get once. together our Harry Potter fans so that we can play this game. You can play with uh, anyway, Jason. Moving on. <clears throat> Sorry, no, but y'all. not to jump back, but as far as Johnny Depp, um, I don't know if y'all saw, but all of his like pirate crew from Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah, stepped back and they were like, "We won't do another movie unless you bring Johnny Depp back." As you got damn right. Super duper facts. You got damn right. 
As they should. As they should. I mean, freaking what's her name got an Aqua. Got man back an Aquaman. Didn't even. No did not lose a day of work. Yeah, Johnny Depp has been smeared, stomped on, and fired left, right, and sideways. Because apparently in this country, when you're a man and it comes to something like that, you're guilty until proven innocent. And then when you are proven innocent, let's just keep it quiet. Yeah. Which is annoying because Johnny Depp is a national treasure. I think it also kind of goes to the fact of like a lot of white. Um, I'll have more in a moment, Jason. Give me a second. Light okay. little frat boys get away with sexual assault. So even though you actually did the crime, you're still sometimes proven innocent. Yeah, but Jason. Uh, Jason. I mean, obviously Johnny <laughs> Depp. <laughs> but Johnny, De- no, Johnny no. Depp's weird. I did the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get off this nerdy shit just a little bit. So, uh, Zach Stacy, That woke up, Joe. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> He's here. Chalk zone. <laughs> so, did you hear what happened? I heard the uh, thing. I heard the part about um, how he said it was a, um, a setup, pretty much. Huh? It was staged. He yeah. Said that, uh, she staged the whole thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we said that when we saw it because we was like, yo, like, that camera was in a perfect spot. Well, it's funny to me that that's the defense he's going with, because he he. No, comes, I, I, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying he's telling the truth. He might be, but that's what's funny, is to me that he's just like, yeah, she staged that whole thing. Well, what do you mean she staged the whole thing? She set them cameras up and did something to piss me off, so I'd go over there and do that to her. Exactly. And it was like, oh, you're right, you're right. That's fucked up. It's not the fact that you did it. Threw her into a TV. <laughs> and then threw her into the fucking walkie thingy. Yeah. Don't press my buttons, bitch. <laughs> 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 but that is what but that is what made it hilarious to me was that he was just like, Yeah, like, don't y'all understand? And he was just that everybody's like, What what do you mean? She staged it. How did she stage it? What do you what the fuck are you we love tea. Zach, what are you talking about? What did she do to stage it? How did she set this up to make you look bad? Well no well no. Like I actually did it, but <laughs> She just did something to piss me off, and when I was on my way over there, she set up the cameras. <laughs> if you don't sit your stupid ass the fuck down somewhere. <laughs> I bet as soon as she got thrown into that TV, she was like, holy shit, what have I done? Like, she didn't think it, like, oh, I got, just got that on video. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I still stand by the idea that as soon as he threw her through the TV, she still acted way unfazed. <laughs> like, bro, why are you acting weird right now? <laughs> like, She's been conditioned. <laughs> yeah, right. That's exactly... <laughs> That's exactly what it is. She actually has been conditioned to it. So, like, she walked in. Hey, honey, how are you? <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Though. Are you like, okay? Is something wrong right now? And then he threw her through the fucking walker thing. When I saw how Something weird's he, going on right now. When I saw how, how easily day. he, like, slung that hoe, I kind of got scared for a split second. I was like, oh, he's about to kill this bitch. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought he was about to kill her. <laughs> but. I get it. I get it, dog. You know what I'm saying? These hoes be pissing you off. He purposely pissing you off. I mean, you got to do something about it. You got to make him stop. You know what I'm saying? Got you. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Ten out of uh, crickets. Oh wait, wrong one. I'm okay with this. So anyway, back to double door. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 would not recommend but yeah it was uh it was definitely just funny i don't know if we have an entire conversation about that but it was mostly just funny to me that that was like his entire that's his, defense. That's his entire defense he was just like she staged that shit what you do you mean nothing to say you threw her <laughs> through two objects can you imagine him in there and be like yo y'all ladies never pissed y'all off while y'all wanted to fuck her up like oh yeah yeah all the time but well, you don't <laughs> actually do the shit but that's why I love it because I'm actually waiting for him to be like in court look like explaining all of this shit she staged it she fucking set the cameras up she did some she told me shit because I think that's what it was she told me she was cheating on me because she knew I was gonna come over there and then and then he's gonna look over at the jury y'all know what I'm saying right <laughs> and then everybody's just gonna be sitting there like. And then his lawyer is just going to look at him and go, can you please shut the fuck up? The DA is just going to go, your honor, I, I'm done. I'm <laughs> We're done here. I'm actually going to leave early today and go get an early lunch. I'm going to keep this shit going. I'm going to just let him keep talking, your honor. Aren't they going to have like a hand signal to like, shut the fuck Oh, what was it when Chris Brown was in a, did you hear about that? When Chris Brown was in court for beating Rihanna? Mm-mm. He looked over at his lawyer and was like, I'm going to address the court real quick and went to go stand up. They said his lawyer grabbed him by the elbow. Oops, Oops sorry. His lawyer grabbed him by the elbow, sat him back down, looked at him and went, I don't dance. You don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> True story. 
funny. On today's episode of Just Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what else is going on in fucking celebrity land? Uh, Billie Eilish. Porn. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> 11 years old. I'm pretty sure I wrote that too. You did. But um, yeah, she started watching porn at 11. You, do, you didn't watch no porn at 11? No. Joe's is over there steady nodding. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot. 11. <laughs> I'm not All talking about my childhood on here. Anyway. All it. I'm about to say, I think, uh, you know what? My mama watches the show sometimes. I'm not going to say the first movie I jerked off to. Um, <laughs> was it Titanic? Was it Titanic? No, 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 no. I, I was six when Titanic came out. But, uh, you right. I'll but, never uh, let you go, Jack. <laughs> I'll never let go. I'll never let go. My mom was like, please, I have to clean the sheets. Oh, my um, God. But anyway. That is one thing I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, the no, first he's gonna, time I do laundry. The second know. he walks in the living room and goes, hey, mom, can I have a cookie? He does his own laundry. <laughs> he's doing his own laundry from that day forward. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, apparently she started watching porn at 11. And here's the thing, man. I fuck with Billie Eilish. I think she's dope as fuck. Hot as fuck. Especially now. Sometimes. Of age and, like, showing a little more, not being so, like. She lost a lot of followers lately. To me, the most, like, attractive thing about Billie Eilish is, like, her tits are huge. But, like, other than that, like, her face is, like, on or off for me. But like I think, but like either either which way, I think Billy's fucking awesome. Like I love her music. I As love a person, her. She's I love awesome. her. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And like hers herself is attractive. By yes, it, it, exactly. And but like I feel like lately she's been kind of going through like these like figuring this, out who she is, figuring out who she is, and like going above and beyond to like I don't know like be like look how sexy I am. No, no, honestly, to be like woke, I guess in a sense. Because, like, the whole thing was, like, she she came up about the whole... Like, I started watching porn when I was 11. And then she was like, I think porn is a disgrace. I think it's disgusting. I think it's all of this other stuff. Yeah, and it I'm, is. And I'm just... Well, but no, but no, no. But, like, she's saying, it like, it's a bad thing. And I'm sitting there like, why don't you leave them porn people alone? Like, the people that do porn, most of them love their job. You know what I mean? And, like, they excel at it. Do you yeah. think she's going down a, a demi aisle? I'm sorry, what? Do you think she's going down like a, a, a Demi? <clears throat> like a Demi Lovato thing? Yeah. Kind no, of. I don't think there's any spoons involved. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop. But. <laughs> as far as like the things for attention. Not so much attention, but like the extra wokeness. Yeah, I think she's like going. Like aliens she's, are rude she, to say. She's trying really hard to stay like, uh, like Relevant? PC. PC. Politically correct. And, and that's when I start to like kind of lose interest because it's just like, stop, like you're cool by yourself. Like you don't need all this bullshit, but apparently she brought up the whole porn thing because as she first started having her first, uh, sexual encounters, apparently she was try she did more things that she wasn't comfortable doing because she thought that that's how things were supposed to go because that's what she saw in porn. See, I'm going to say this. In, in her defense, she has a lot of young girls that do look up to her. Indeed. And maybe she's just trying to put it at a point to where they don't have to go through what she did. Okay. Be- because <clears throat> trying to say that, you know, her saying that porn is a disgrace is a woke viewpoint, I would highly disagree with because most woke viewpoints view sex work as... And I'm not by no, no go for it. By no means am I degrading sex work. Of course. But if you look opposite of woke, they look at sex sex work as not a real job. Mm. And once you start getting woke Wait, sex, you're saying woke people you're saying woke people think that sex work's not a real job? No. Opposite of woke. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see so what you're saying. Or your conservative side. Gotcha. That's look, so dumb. I, I agree. <laughs> In the worst way. I, I can agree. do that. I feel like porn's more accepted now, so that would be the more woke view. Exactly. Okay. All right. I see what you're saying. So trying to say that she is saying, you know, trying to do this to be woke. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I'll take that back. Kind of, kind of argue, kind of argumentative. I got you. Okay. But I feel like she is she 
she's doing what I feel celebrities should do and trying to be a role model for younger girls that do look up to her. The only reason I, because you, while you're right, it's also a slippery slope because then it also feels like you're looking down on sex workers. She just say you, just say you trash in bed. <laughs> Christ. <Bitch. laughs> Porn is tight as fuck. Maybe not trash. Maybe she's just not as um, adventurous. Trash in bed. <laughs> she didn't want to do anal. <laughs> that's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because I think that that's a big thing too. Is like I've always been an advocate. <laughs> Cat's pooping. I've He's always peeing. that's a peep. Whatever. I've always been an advocate for like if you like I think prostitution in this country should be legal. I'm pretty sure we're the only country where it's not. I think there's one state where it is. God, I hope. Oh. Jesus Christ! But uh, I think Nevada doesn't Nevada have like the brothels? I want to bunny say bunny ranch. I think it's either Nevada or New Hampshire. Whichever. Honestly, I it's know. Amsterdam. That's a country. Wait, that's not saying, in America. You saying where it's where it's legal? At, huh? It's legal in almost every country except here. Yeah. Oh, right. what you so, saying state? Yeah, there's one state in the country oh, where, bad. That where it's legal. But other than that, we're the only country that doesn't have legal prostitution. And, which is crazy to me because like the great Jim Jeffries once said, porn in this country is completely illegal unless someone films it. And then it's totally okay. Because mm. they're getting paid. You, the only time in America being paid for sex is okay is if somebody films it. Films it. Interesting. And in, in this country, is it? In, in this country, is the only country where it is totally okay for a girl barely out of her teenage years can be gang banged by eight guys, take a load in the face, and then cannot buy a beer. <laughs> Indeed. Shout out to Jim Jeffries, man. <laughs> That got way too deep, way too fast. <laughs> and that's I why will it should agree be of it being legal. The only issue is that you'd have to filter out like the sex trafficking, like the people that are there against their will well, and all that stuff. Well, they, like they've said before, I mean, sex trafficking is a problem in almost every country. But with prostitution being legal in America, women aren't forced, if they do decide that sex work is the only thing that they're able to do, they're then not forced to go out on the street by themselves and then get yanked up by a fucking pimp or a sex mm -hmm. trafficker or whatever the case may be. And then, like, you know, in Australia, they have, like, brothels, like um, like the Democrat. Like, they... <laughs> To, to go into your MCU for a little while. Oh, my. They have, like, the Democrat. Like, uh, I saw one woman I talked to one time. She was, like, a prostitute at a place that looked just like it. And essentially, she was like, yeah, you come in. Women are everywhere. She's like, you walk up to the woman. Y'all talk. Y'all have a conversation. Uh, Y'all both decide. Like, yeah, okay, I'm down with this. This is how much it would cost for me to do it. And he goes, okay, well, I don't have that much money. This is what I do have. If y'all can come to an agreement, okay, bedrooms this way. Women are tested for STDs weekly. Um, they have men, or they have security, rather, around the place. If anything happens, there's panic buttons. There's, you know, all kinds of, like, it's regulated. It's regulated. So, essentially, it's safer. And But in this country, for some reason, it's very much like, all right, well, sorry. And, I mean, trying to... Him. <laughs> trying to, you know, unjustify why something like that should be illegal by saying, oh, well, sex trafficking could happen. It's one of those things of, yeah, you can do this, but this might happen too. Mm -hmm. it's a, what do I mean? That, you can say that, that about anything. That in yeah. itself is a slippery slope. Right. So, I don't know. It's just, uh, that's the only thing about what Billy said that did kind of throw me off is it's like, now you're kind of talking down on people that like, this is their living. This is their, what they've chose to do their life with, you know what I'm saying? And now you're basically saying what they do is disgusting. And I mean, Hey, if you want to get paid because point. you're great at sex, all power to you, man, that'd be a great way to Pay bills to just have sex all day. Yeah. <laughs> Tight. All I got to do all day is have sex and then I can pay bills? I yeah, mean, like... And get paid more than what I'm getting paid okay. right now? I mean, at the same time, Billy can say whatever she wants, but we've seen all the screenshots from all the OnlyFans girls getting 10, 15K in sure, a month. But try to make sure that it's... Yeah. it's no matter what I do, it's not... Uh, the red light's on. 
No, not on this thing, though. It's just not Uh-oh. charging. Can you make sure it's plugged into the wall? Joe, did you unplug it when you plugged your phone in? No. <laughs> well, his phone is not really charging much either. He looked around and went, no. No. <laughs> no matter what I do. There might be too many things plugged into the outlet. Very well could be. But anyway, so let's see. What else happened this week? Ben Affleck blamed his drinking problem on his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. I get it. About time. I get it. Same. We let everybody know how these women really be. Shout out Ben Affleck again. Thank More you, sir. exes in general. Women. All parents. <laughs> because <laughs> i found it funny because what's what's crazy is is like that was one of those like did y'all hear the interview no on with on howard stern all right so this was one of those situations where he was talking he started talking and he got a little ahead of himself and i know what he meant but people took it and ran with it was it was just like look I developed a drinking problem. He was like, I was in a marriage where I was not happy and I felt like I couldn't leave because of the kids. So I started drinking and people took that. I mean, granted he might've worded it a little poorly, Mm -hmm. but people basically took that and were like, Oh, so, so hold on. So Jennifer Garner's the reason you're a fucking piece of shit alcoholic. And he was like, Okay, let's all calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I said in the slightest. Exactly, and but I mean, like I said, he like he might have spoke a little loosely, but I got like as a man, I'm listening to him talk, and I get what he's saying. You know what I mean? It was like, look, I was in a <laughs> shitty situation. Not like that, dear. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very happy with my my girlfriend. Sure. <laughs> tight but <laughs> but it was one of those situations where like just as a man it's like you're sitting there listening to another guy talk and you're like oh i get what you're saying but then women are like oh so i'm just a piece of shit and it's like no that's that's not what i said no but what you said was you'd be happier if i was not alive it's like that's also not what i said <laughs> that's like what you said earlier you poked um one of my family members <laughs> in the side and the response and every of- woman's response every woman's response Why go ahead are you poking my fat <laughs> I just walked up and I poked her cousin in the side and she just turns, why are you poking my fat? It's like, Nicole says the same thing. I just walked up and poked you. That's all I did. And now it's got to be this whole thing. Are you calling me a fucking fat ass? No. Uh, No. (laughs) I just had a baby. No, Jesus. Welcome to women. They hear everything you don't say. (laughs) Men. Facts. What was that shit? Men. We don't know what we did. (laughs) But that's why, like, with the whole Ben Affleck thing, it's like, man, leave him the fuck alone. Like, at the end of the day, Ben Affleck is a guy. And it's like, we, we, don't, s- we don't think fully when we start talking. We just say facts. shit. Like, the amount facts. of times that I've said shit, and then Nicole looked at me with the widest of eyes, and I'm like, what? And she's like, okay, just so you're aware, that sounds like you're saying this. And it's like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. And then we just went from there. Like, remember that, uh, you know what episode I listened to the, of the podcast the other day? It's like, oh, well, I don't want to call them animals because I don't know if they're black or not. Cool. <laughs> and then, of course, for the rest of the episode, Joe's drilling it in just like, you call black people animals. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But That's what you, you said. You, that, you couldn't escape that. I don't want to call them animals because I don't know if they're black or not. It doesn't matter how you say that. No, like, what's fucked up is. Did you write that down for the the. Uh, it's in there. Okay. But what's funny is if you started like if you let me finish talking, I explain what I'm saying before I even realized what I said. At that point, I was just like, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't want to call them animals because I don't know if they're black or not, and if they end up being black, that's just going to sound really racist. <laughs> now, if I would have been able to finish talking, it would have sounded much better than, oh, I don't want to call them animals because I don't know if they're black or not. And everyone just stared. Racist! The racisms. That was definitely a racism, Scott. You definitely just said a racism. But uh, but yeah, as far as Ben Affleck goes, like, just leave that man alone. He was sitting on the couch shooting the shit with Howard Stern and then said some shit, and now he's like, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to say it like that. I mean, so what if he did? You know what I mean? Like, that bitch made me start drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's the reason I'm a piece of shit. You yeah. know what? Can we expand on that for a second? Can 
can't some women just be such bitches? Like, yeah, yeah they made me, they drove me to start drinking. Yeah. Dear? I, I could say a breakup drove me to start drinking. Like that. Because of the person. Yes. Yes, because the person was such a scumbag. You were like, I need a drink. And the next thing you know, you're <laughs> laying in an abandoned warehouse with a severed <laughs> cat's head in your hand. <laughs> sure. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like it's a lot easier for breakups if it's just like you part ways done, but like it's, knock it up. It's the continuous like, oh hey, I miss you. Oh hey, let's hook up. Oh hey, let's. So you think like you're, that? You're the one I want to be with. The post relationship. Hey, <laughs> hey big head. That's when it's hey, like. That's when it gets so very like complicated. The post relationship booty calls or yeah, what? Make it all shitty. That just, <laughs> yeah. Nah, those those are like make me stop drinking. You know what I mean? No, yeah, because good. drink is when I'm sending those texts. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, sober Jason, 100%. Don't hit up nobody. I have nothing to do with I want nothing to do with you. 2 a.m., been at the bar all night, Jason. B- half a bottle of tequila. Hey, what I, you doing? Was she that bad? The, the number of what you doing text, though, is just like, <laughs> at that point, it's just like, yeah, that's fine. I feel like having sex. Let's go. No, I told you. I think no, I think I even told you about that. Like, and Joe was there. I'm pretty sure Joe, you were there that night with one of my exes, where it was just like, hey, so like, what? what? <laughs> Joe was there with one of your exes. No, I was. We were both <laughs> at a place. Scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were both at a place, and one of my exes happened to be there. And I'm pretty sure, like, I approached her at some point in the night, and I was just like, like the night was over. We were all about to head out, and I was just like, so where are you going? And she was like, I'm about to go home. It's like 6 a.m. What are you talking about? And I was like, oh, I was just wondering. Cause, and she's like, Scott, are you inviting me back to your house to have sex? And I was like, I mean. <laughs> and she was like, Scott Wordles, you can just say, hey, you want to come over and hook up? And I'll say, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll meet you at your house. <laughs> that was one of those. It was just like, can you just stop? Like, we don't have to do this. We don't have to play like this bullshit back and forth. Like, are you asking me to come over to bang you? Yeah. Okay. I'm on my way. Whatever. <laughs> Just being adult about it. Communication is key. Oh. I feel like there should have been a little jingle after that. That was pretty good. <laughs> Communication is key. Oh. I don't know if I like that. We got to figure out it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Joe's leaving. I'm done. <laughs> Joe is gone. I'm on the couch. All right. So, uh, leave Ben Affleck alone. Fuck that. That's going to be the name of the episode. Leave Ben Affleck alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, unfortunately, we're going to jump back on some nerd shit. But just for a second. Just for a second. Um, how do y'all feel about them hiring somebody to replace Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther? If you introduce the idea of the entire multiverse, okay. Mm-hmm. But do not stay in the same universe and recast him and as recast T'Challa. And recast him as, as somebody, uh, yeah, as a different yeah. character. No, can't do that. Well, you can have a different Black Panther. We don't want a different T'Challa. What? Like, don't hire Will Smith to come back and play T'Challa. But the thing is... Give they, us somebody else to be Black so Panther. So, what, what y'all are saying, like, say, like, T'Challa, like, make it like he died in the movies and, like, somebody else became Black sure, Panther? Sure, yes. That's what would have to happen because Black Panther is multiple different people. But but here's the problem with that. It's supposed to stick to a bloodline. Indeed. So okay. Does, so does Shuri take it up? I'd be okay with that. If that's what happens in the comics, I would absolutely be okay with I'm that. pretty sure there is a storyline where she takes up Black Panther. I know there's a storyline where she becomes Iron Man. I, I know there's a storyline where she takes up the mantle of the Black, Black Panther. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I think that's where we need to go with it. Boy, going to the mindset of the multiverse, people have been calling for Michael B. Jordan to come back. I'd be okay with that, too. I would I, absolutely I be okay yeah. with him. I'd I'm, be okay with Michael B. Jordan in any capacity. Because just, it would make sense. Because he's hot. It wouldn't be weird. And they, they also kind of touched on it in the um the Disney Plus What If series. We need to catch up. Touched on, on it, We're yes. Very behind. You know, I mean, there's only one season. Yeah, there's I not think many. We've episodes. only seen like what two of them. I've seen a few because I knew you weren't interested. I fell asleep, y'all. <laughs> she wasn't into it. I was pregnant. Uh, I was pregnant. What That's if? My for uh, Joe, who was your favorite supervillain? I can't remember his name. The Joker. No, in uh, the MCU. Thanos. The other one. 
Ultron. Ultron. Oh. What if Ultron won? Oh. Did you see that one? Yes. Mind blown. Fucking insanity. All right? But I do... I am okay with the idea of them bringing in a new Black Panther. I'm not okay with them replacing Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa. I I, I, I get that. I can respect that. Yeah, because I feel like Chadwick died. He is our Black Panther. Well, he is our T'Challa. Let his character die with him. And as the MCU, you respected him. Indeed. As that T'Challa. But his brother came out and said that he he would want him to be replaced. Absolutely. And I understand his wishes. But I'm sorry, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, uh, yeah, let him let him die. Let him. What you got, babe? What am I grabbing? Grab a butt. Yeah. I don't have a butt. For the charger, I think it would be better to plug it into the. This is going great. Thing. So. <laughs> it it just gave me the notification. It's about to die. That's They're why. over here. Oh shit! All right. Device. Well, y'all keep talking. I'm gonna go find a butt. There should be one right there. Like right when you... Scott's white. He don't have a oh, butt. Oh, wait. Or that lips. That might be the one that's for our <laughs> Or phone, lips. Though. Yeah. But that should be... Do you want me to pause it real quick? Pause it. Sure. Then I go okay. Off. I baby ain't yours, though. <laughs> that's for the Amazon, man. You know <laughs> the that one that helped me with you know the package. You know he's here all the time. Who's that? The Facts. Amazon guy. What's he doing? Technically, it was Banging the UPS man. That came <laughs> <out>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Technically, it's the UPS man that came in the house. Was it FedEx? Or maybe it was FedEx. Whichever it one. was definitely FedEx, and that's why it was so depressing. Hey, guys, we're back. That's why it was so depressing, because I was like, damn, a FedEx driver are you going to cheat on me with? Like, at least up your game to Amazon. Like, those people are tortured. Hey, he was in <laughs> shape, man. He brought my packages all inside. Yeah, he did. He brought all your packages inside. Little swimmers. That's how I ended up with a red-headed baby. Yep. Well, he was black, so there's that. <laughs> Hey, we all found out in chemistry class, you mix two things. You never know what's going to happen. Facts. Ginger. Sometimes you end up with a redhead for no unexplained reason. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. That's mm-hmm. a lot. My grandma. Wow. And I'm a grandma. My mother had red hair as a child. Yeah, that's what they all say. Uh, <laughs> so the baby performed at Rolling Loud for the first time since he uh, made the homophobic statements on stage. Speaking of babies. And it didn't go well. No, oh. They still hating on the baby, man? Yes. Bruh. All right. So when I read the headline, essentially what it said was the baby returns to Rolling Loud and people were throwing cups at him. So I was like, all right, this is going to be one of those situations where the baby's on stage. He has his back turned. Somebody throws a cup and, you know, it just kind of keeps it moving. And, like, it's not really as big as they're trying to... No, son, it rained Coca-Cola cups on that man, son. Like, the whole time he's walking from one end of the stage to the other, you just see cups flying behind. Like, you know those action, those parts in the action movie where the guy's running and the bullets are following him? That's what it looked like, <laughs> but with cups. Nah, if he would have fucking went and got the fucking, yeah, and started airing that bitch out, they're going to be like, oh, my God, the baby shot. Yeah, because y'all throwing fucking cups at that man. If he would have turned yeah. around. I mean, you I didn't don't even think take it cups th- warrant bullets, but, uh. <laughs> First of all. It don't fucking matter. Don't throw nothing at me. I'm going to air this bitch out. You can't tell somebody how to react. That is one thing. He was in fear. You can when it's illegal. You know Hold on. Throwing throwing a cup at somebody's illegal. Y'all keep talking. I gotta take a call. Y'all throwing y'all threw a bunch of cups at me. A bunch okay, of cups. But throwing Continuously. cups at someone doesn't mean oh you should die. Here's my gun. Yeah, but you don't know what type of nigga I am. Don't throw nothing at me. I'm gonna air this bitch out. Okay, and then you go to jail because you Gladly. shot me. Gladly. Yeah, and they're not gonna throw cups at nobody else no more. I go to jail. You go to the morgue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Touche. That's fine. Yeah, like like Scott just said, like you can't you can't tell somebody how to react to something. I mean, I don't think even as mad as I've ever been at anyone, I don't think I've ever thrown a drink at someone's face. I feel like that's so disrespectful. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, the point of it. I know. Here's one of my big things: Rolling Loud. That's one of those festivals where they got multiple stages, right? Um, I believe so. I've never been. Okay, so you came to this stage to see me. You know what I'm saying? Just to throw a cup at me? Yeah. yeah. There was no other performer that you wanted to go give your respect to. You wanted to come here just to throw a cup at me. Who else was playing? That's like that's like when um when people be going to like basketball games or football games, you know what I'm saying? They throw shit from the stands. You don't think that man will come up there and hit your ass, but Ron Artest showed you he will. He showed you he you, will. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, a, it's it's the same shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't throw nothing at me or oh, 
You don't know if I'm gonna come down there and punch you in your face. You came here to see my performance. Right. You came here to see what I do. Why are you gonna come in disrespect like that? You know what I'm saying? You purposely came here to fucking disrespect me. You didn't have to interact with me. Right. You could have stayed your ass at home. You could have gone your ass to another stage. Yeah. You came to me. Or fucking just stood there. If it, yeah. if if they had somebody else performing before or after him, you know what I'm saying? Like stand your ass there, mind your business. Or boo, even if you want to. Don't throw nothing Don't at me. Don't throw nothing. Yeah. Cause now you're now you're breaching a point of silent pro of protesting this person to actual assault. Yep. You know? Yeah. Cause how I mean, how different would the headline have been? If every time somebody threw something that hit the baby, security was yanking them up and putting them in cop cars. Mm -hmm. How different would that headline have been? Very different. (laughs) Yeah. I'm trying to find, like, I don't even see his name on this thing. Who? So you you had that many artists and you came to hate on the baby. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to see, like, who else was playing at that specific time. Or just that day that you had to take the time out to go throw a drink at somebody. Considering they got a paragraph worth of artists for every day. <laughs> bruh. I'm going to say everybody. Bruh, that's fucking crazy. But yeah, don't do not don't do that. Because if I do punch you in the mouth or, in the baby's fashion, shoot you. That That's not my fault. I didn't shoot you for no reason. Now I'm the bad guy. Yeah. And clearly he has been known to shoot people that have... Uh disrespected him in some fashion. Yeah, I mean, I, Door. I, I think that was an episode of they fucked around. I think they should have found out. Yeah, I still got to take mm-hmm. a call, but I, uh, I got a couple of minutes. So, uh, But yeah, I do think that uh, the baby didn't shoot anybody for no reason, number one. Know, well, the, yes. guy, the guys did pull a gun on him. But, uh, but yeah, I do kind of agree with the sentiment. It's, it still goes hand in hand with that idea of you can't do something to somebody and then get mad at how they react. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they might react differently than you would, but that's how dumb shit happens all the time is it's like you did something to somebody and then they turned around and took it a step further. You know what I mean? Right. And yeah. the baby has proved on more than one occasion. He is not the one to play with. Right. So, and it's probably some fucking, some fucking kids out there. of fucking college. Damn near adults. You know what I'm saying? That's have been punching their fucking mouth. Mm. Or they're out there thinking, I'm in a crowd. If I throw the cup, nobody's going to know. Well, anything. you just got somebody else beat up or shot. <laughs> <laughs> you well, proud of yourself? Right. <laughs> well, like I said, when you was gone, how would it be if security was yanking them up when they were throwing cups yeah. and putting them in the back of cop cars? As they should. I don't know what's going on, but you can't keep throwing shit at people. But what makes you come to a show to say, if you didn't show up today with there HIV or AIDS... Any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two or three weeks. Incredible. Put your cell phone lights up. Like, what makes you say that specific thing? That makes me think that either someone he was about to have sex with ended up having it, or some, like something bothered him that made him say such things. Somebody probably just tweeted that to him. Yeah, or some said, like, said something in passing, like, on some slick shit that, you know, that rubbed him wrong. Because... Like we said before, the baby just don't do shit like that for no reason. Maybe he do, but he's never shown it, shall I say, that I, that I've seen. I think he's just that type of dude that something, something hits him and it sticks. And then he got to say something. It, it it eats him up to that point where he got to say something about it. Right, right. And then he brought up sucking dick in the parking lot. And that really makes me think like one of his close friends... <laughs> That he didn't know was gay. He caught them sucking dick in a parking lot. And that's why, like, suddenly came on stage, like, you know, if you don't have HIV, like, <laughs> you ain't sucking dick in a parking lot. That, that's, what, that's what I think. As a female who thinks far too into things sometimes. I'm seeing the board. Huh? The board. So you got some ugly ass handwriting. Well, it's better than Scott's chicken scratch. 1,000%. But yeah, that, that that's what's weird. Show. Like, I don't think it's enough to keep him off the stage because he's still. I mean, if freaking Chris Brown can come back <laughs> after beating <laughs> this shit out of Rihanna, I think that him saying that shit that like a lot of people have said worse. 
and their music. Well, yeah, he stuff. also yeah. he also paid his dues though. He like went on like an apology tour. Yeah, stupid ass. Which I think was stupid. I hate that whole apology tour idea because you know he really don't feel like that. Right, He's like just doing it for you know, the like I, clearly I didn't just hit this bitch once. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a per, I'm a. I'm a firm believer of the idea of doubling down. Mm-hmm. If I don't believe I'm wrong for what I did, I ain't apologizing for it. Right. Yeah. I'm a double down on. I'll it. probably say maybe I should I shouldn't have did it, but I'm not sorry that I did it. What's that? I also think people like grow with age, and like sometimes I hate when people come out with like, "Oh, 15 years ago, so and so tweeted this." homophobic tweet and it's just like ah, oh, it was a different time then 15 years ago that wasn't a homophobic slur yeah that's that's where tricky. my thought process goes into it like I do feel like cancel culture in a way should be a real thing the problem that I have is is I feel like they take it to another level now Kevin Hart for instance he tweeted some dumb shit back in the day which was appropriate, maybe not appropriate, but more accepted in the context of that time. So it's like now we, we can't, we don't say certain things anymore. We've taken certain things out of our vocabulary. We go about things a different way in certain circumstances, Mm. but back in the day, what? You know, sometimes you can still say you grab females by the pussy and become president. You know? <laughs> that shit was hype. <laughs> that shit was hype. But, we but, don't cancel everyone. You know that locker room talk. You know 2024. I mean? 2024, baby. Oh you know what? Let me God. calm down before I get told to get out. <laughs> 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 Fuck out of here. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. It's in here somewhere. I'm going to find it. You know he's the top fan. He knows it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's in there. <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is. Omar, he's got it marked as Omar Little. <laughs> fuck out my house. You're gonna get that shit on a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I want it on a T-shirt. <laughs> I want it on a hat, actually. Hangover merch coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. We gotta. We just gotta find time to work on it. But I do feel like in some cases, like uh, like for instance, you look at uh, what's that dude's name? The guy that was in Seven. He was horrible boss. He was Kevin Spacey. He kind of deserved exactly what he got. He, you know, some kids came out and basically, well, some people, some men came out and basically said that when they were kids, uh, Kevin Spacey was like basically sexually assaulting them. And then as they got older, they came out about it. Now, I, I'm also iffy about like this happened 20 some odd years ago and you're just now stepping forward. But... The fact that he came out and admitted, like, you know what? Maybe I was a little inappropriate, but I think this is as good a time of ever just to let everybody know I'm gay. And we were like, no, 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 no. Nobody gives a fuck that you're gay. Back up. What do you mean you may have? What? <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's a completely different mindset of sexually assaulting people. Mm-hmm. Something that is absolutely illegal, immoral. Indeed. And saying something that's frowned upon, I think you're. I think you're talking about two different ball games. Well, no, I mean, I'm talking about cancel culture in general. Some things I think cancel culture takes it too far, like tweets that aren't in context of today. Absolutely, but then cancel culture also canceling somebody that say did something that Kevin Spacey did. That's what I'm saying. I think that cancel culture can be okay in certain situations, but I think that they've come and just completely no. No, not Taking at all. things and ran with it. No, not, not at all what? Well. Not at all what? Fucking cancel culture can fucking eat trash. Well, yeah, because of what but they no, are no, no, now. No, 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 because even shit like what the Kevin Spacey thing. Like, I wouldn't call that cancel culture. I'd call that justice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There you let, go. let that shit be handled the way it is. Mm-hmm. The, way, the way it should be. Like, don't. Which is how? In, in court or fucking how? Can be handled in court. Statute of limitations. Wow. Mm-hmm. Depends on well, a, uh, depends on the state. Depends on the crime. Depends on the statute. Yeah, or, or and for, Louisiana statute of limitations on a crime like that is forty fucking years. Uh, now, now, or back then? Because apparently that matters. That was that forty year statute of limitations was passed in Louisiana in the twenties. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm I love so, your knowledge of the so. Law. I'm about to say, I'm sure it's di- like you said, it's different state by state. Again, 
yes, state by state, crime by crime, mm. all different. Right. But I doubt it's 20 years or less. Mm. We have to look into it. Yeah, or like, you know what, what I'm saying? Uh, like, if it comes out, don't. What year did don't don't hire him? And, don't hire him to do anything else. You know what I'm saying? Let it be handled like that. Like I just don't think cancel culture should have a voice at all. But that's that's cancel culture. That is literally the definition of what cancel culture is. Is now we don't want you to have a job anymore. Yeah. Well, that's just that's just right and wrong. Like you do some shit like that, like fucking touching little people. That's what I'm saying. Like just don't you, you're, you're not canceled. Gonna, you're, yeah, you're not gonna have a fucking job. Like this not. It's, I'm not canceling you. I'm just not hiring you. Well, I mean, we're essentially saying the exact same thing. How? Because that's because now in your mind, the word cancel culture just has a bad taste whenever you say it. So now you're just like, yeah, don't hire them no more. That's essentially what cancel culture is. Is like now we don't want you to have a job anymore. So now you're canceled. You no longer have a job. If that like what I'm saying is that's what this entire conversation is about is it's like cancel culture has now become so wide and so vague that it's like. All right, well, 10 years ago, I made a joke that is now not good in today's context. Okay, well, now he got canceled. And it's like, oh, well, see, cancel culture is stupid. Look, they canceled this man for no reason. But if it was actual, like, how it should be, which is your boy getting no more jobs, no more anything, that's technically what cancel culture is supposed to be. Not by today's definition, because like I said, they take it and fucking run with it. Oh, okay, I got Any you. little I fucking you. thing you do now, you get quote-unquote canceled. But the whole idea behind cancel culture is you do something fucked up, and now you no longer have a job. You're done here. Like, uh, wasn't it the judge that just happened to a couple of days ago? Like, the Louisiana state judge? She just got quote-unquote canceled because she was caught on a surveillance camera saying the N-word. With the hard R. And calling them roaches. And calling them but roaches. Back to <clears throat> real quick. Spacey thing. That happened to an 18-year-old boy in July of 2016. That's when it came out. No. He was in December of 2018. He was charged with that for sexually assaulting journalist Heather whatever's 18-year-old son in Massachusetts in July of 2016. He pled not guilty in 2019. We'll definitely have to look into this because I'm pretty sure there was something. Somebody else came forward and said that like this happened like back in like the fucking 80s or 90s, something like that. <clears throat> and I mean, he, here's the thing. He could be charged with something, but then now you start getting into a whole lot of lawyer speak that I'm not really fluent in. Yeah, right. <laughs> but as a prosecuting attorney, they do sit back and think, can I win this at trial? Right. No, absolutely. Well, the question at hand here is, is like a Kevin Spacey type situation, is that worthy of being canceled? I think once you get to the point of being charged. If it's true. Yes. If it's true. If it's true, yeah. Which he kind of came out and admitted that he may, may have. I think that was the other thing that shut him down was, huh? was he essentially came out and like that's what I think pissed a lot of people off was it wasn't so much that he got accused of something. It was that he got accused of something, came out semi-admitted to it, but then said, you know what, this is also the perfect time for me to come out and say that I'm gay. And it was like, no, 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 no. Like, we don't care that you're gay. Okay. We want to talk about this shit that you just kind of admitted to. I can promise you the dude he probably pays is his publicist. Was pulling his fucking hair out? Told him to do that. You think so? I oh, yeah. No. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely right. Think absolutely so. right. Oh, yeah. He was like, try to sidetrack this motherfucker as best you can. Not only sidetrack it, but now in today's society of, you know. Lifting up the LGBTQ communities. Lifting up mm -hmm. that community. It is, oh, if you attack Kevin Spacey at this point, now you're, you're attacking. You're a homophobe. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like so, it. Hey. He's 62. Sorry, Jason. He's 62 right now. And the thing was towards him being 26 and he went after a 14 year old. That's what it was. And yes. then after that, 15 other men came out and voiced similar complaints. That they diddled. I hate that shit, yo. What the 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 when, storm like, when the storm sudden, drains open? Like, oh yeah, wait. He did that to me too. That's what I said yeah. whenever uh, some of the shit started happening. Sinbad touched me. <laughs> that's it gets shitty because it's like it's probably true you just need that one person to step up and then you're like okay now i have the uh 
Now I have like the the strength to come out and say it, and I get that. But sometimes it 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 looks ingenuine. Yeah. Yeah. So you think it's almost like yo, like I'm not gonna fight this nigga one on one. I'm gonna wait till we're gonna jump him. Exactly. Yep. That's essentially what it is. And, and then I'm, a lot of what's fucked up is too is like a lot of people say that they're scared to come out to say something because they're afraid of themselves being canceled for trying to attack somebody as high of a stature as that. So then it's like those people do come out and like they go, all right, so now that there is a gang, you know, doing this now, I also have the confidence to be like, all right, you know what? Me too. No pun intended. And that, but that, that is one of the mindsets of the Me Too movement is. It was all of us. Yeah. We're it, all in it, this together. It, it wasn't just you. Yeah. What is it like one in four women? Something like that. And it's, it, that's not saying one in four women get raped. It's that's, like that's saying one in four assaulted. women get assaulted. In one some in four fashions. women will be sexually assaulted, and one in six men, if I'm not mistaken, by the sorry, Joe. The statistic. Like it gets to the point where, like, I would love to go take walks on the levee by myself, but I'm scared because if I'm sit taking a walk with just my little dog and my baby, I feel like Jack's gonna if fuck something some was up. to happen, I'm kind of fucked in that fashion. Get a gun. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be against that. Get a gun. But a shotgun. that's when it gets uh, worrisome. Nasal spray. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Joe. Nasal spray? <laughs> Nasal spray? <laughs> what, what I thought stuff. he said, too. <laughs> no, I said I nicer said, spread. Nicer spread. Oh. But your shotgun. <laughs> Bill well, how, Burr. How am I, where am I supposed to hide that? But you know what? Uh, on a brighter, the stroller. In on the baby bag. <laughs> you put it right there. You pull it out. Boom. But if I'm walking with him, he's probably going to be attached to me. And I don't want that gun like in his little Why not? Know, baby wear. Because what if it accidentally goes off? Don't point it at him. <laughs> My God. I, I have a whole baby carrier that is designed to hold, to hold not only a gun, two extra mags, but a plate, a, a, a fucking armor piercing plate in front of the baby. Hey. Okay, if you can send me that link after this, that'd be great. Wait, okay. No, wrong, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> nope, didn't want to do that. It kind of, kind of went with the discussion. It did, but it, uh, in, the, in the worst way. Uh, no, I don't want to do that one. Jason, there it's gone. Are you it's that? gone. It left. <laughs> I'm already. Did you want one? Oh, here you go. Uh, Joe, don't wait for nobody. Jesus I don't know. Christ, I don't know if y'all heard. I don't know if y'all heard, but we're going to motherfucking Comic Con this year. Salute. <laughs> Oh man! My uh, all right. So our babysitter wants to taste that after. Uh, I'm, de- okay. I'm she can have the bottle. <laughs> I am now officially done. Not done, but like I, I have came to <clears throat> the aftertaste. I've come so to my bad. conclusion. You shoot pickle vodka. The first half is amazing. The second half is dog shit. Mm-hmm. It has a very weird mm-hmm. aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, indeed. All right. <clears throat> so, what else do we have? Um, oh, wow. You even put the judge thing on here with the racial slur. I did. Incredible. Uh, so, uh, Mexican pizzas are coming back to Taco Bell. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I can't wait to see what I can't wait to see what they do at the KFC Taco Bell crossover. Oh my god, they it's gonna be amazing. Gonna, they still gonna put fucking tomatoes on it, even though I asked them not to. <laughs> <laughs> fucking twats. Be an adult. <laughs> No. What is with you and the fucking be an adult with the onion shit, bro? Dude. Onions are garbage. That shit didn't age well. Do you all. like gumbo? <laughs> Do you like gumbo? I love gumbo. I put I put onions in my gumbo. Okay, there's onions in it. Yeah. All I right. put I, I put onions in my gumbo. Do you like stew? Mm. Children. One at a damn time. Okay, you know what? Y'all don't need to like onions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Stew's okay. Do you like crawfish bowl? I love crawfish bowl. You may not eat the onions that are in it. I don't. But, they but the flavor's it. there. The flavor's there. That's like saying that's like saying I don't like tomatoes, but I, I eat ketchup. No. <laughs> what do you mean no? I don't bite into tomatoes. Okay. I mean to ketchup. What, what is it? Is it the texture? Cook them different. Probably. Cook, cook them different. It's the no. acidity of to me of the onions. I don't like no. the taste. Tell Taco Bell to cook them different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work here. Okay. And when they put raw onions on my hamburgers, I can't do it. Okay, and that's understandable. Not a lot of people can handle raw onions. I can. Can't do it. You know? But to say, oh, no, I won't. Because I I have a lot of friends that I will make a gumbo. And I 
make a gumbo very traditional. Mm-hmm. You know, the trifecta. I cut that shit myself. Yeah, me too. Cook it down, saute it. It's soft. You don't even know it's there unless you are looking for it. Indeed. And to have somebody come up, I make my. What are you looking at me for? I make my gumbo because the same your way. Mom makes red beans, and you will sit there and look for the ham. Yeah, because I don't like uh, pickled ham. That's so stupid. I'm not a fan of pickled ham either. Boom. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You put okra in your shit? No, I think if you, uh, I find okra makes gumbo very slimy. Yes. Yeah, it's very. As does filet in a regular roux gumbo, and I'm not a fan of it. No, okra makes gumbo fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All together. No, there is a way. I'm not. I'm not talking. No, to there's Joe. not. See, I was about to say I'm not talking to Joe right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. There is a way to put okra in your gumbo. It's just so delicate. That one wrong move. Like I used to think no. I used to think stirring the roux to not burn it was the hardest part. No. I can make a roux now like it's nothing. Putting okra in your gumbo and making it not slimy is harder than anything I've ever experienced. Because it can be done. My grandmother used to do it. My grandmother did it like it was nothing. She she put packs of fucking okra in the gumbo. No slime. I'm not a huge fan of okra, period. <laughs> Continue, Jason. Yeah. And they are dying over here. Demi Lovato's favorite Christmas song is All I Want for Christmas is Spoon. <laughs> you know, because of the heroin. <laughs> I'm not doing this with y'all motherfuckers. Continue. All I want for Christmas is spoons. <laughs> Shout out Demi Lovato. You still bae. Oh, man. But anyway, let's go back to the shit that nobody's listening to. But... Uh, I'm, That's me. Go ahead. I'm not a huge oh. fan of okra to begin with. I love so okra. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not going to try to put that shit in my gumbo. See, you're not a big fan of okra, but you'll eat a fucking raw onion. That's absolutely correct. So weird. I know a lot of people. Okay. Are onion are different. You yes. don't put okra in everything. Onion is part Nothing. of the trifecta. Yeah, and I've accepted that. And like, on- remember, no, you remember the first time I made gumbo and somebody looked at you and was like, I bet he didn't put no fucking onions in it. Oh, yeah, he did. Because it was like, yeah. You can accept the fact that I'm onions aware. are part yeah, I have no, uh, th- like, I'm not going to be the guy that takes the onions out of the fucking gumbo. It makes yeah. it taste weird. But I don't like onions on my hamburger. And Raw I'm onion. sorry to all the adults watching this. Onion powder does not make up for actual onions. Absolutely not. Stop that. I will, we it. use onion powder. We do. It's better. Powder. Powder. I will die on this hill. <laughs> this is a hill I will die on. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying it makes up for it. But I, I personally feel like it's better. It adds a certain flavor to it. Wait, you're saying I'll die on this hill. You're saying I'm onions. Sorry, your taste buds are wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, you're you saying except for it in gumbo. Joe, me? Yeah. Yes. I, I, I never like gumbo. onion salt will replace onions completely in gumbo. I didn't. I don't make gumbo. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what people put in it or nothing like that. So then, what are you I, saying right now? When I do cook, sorry I, for this Louisiana ass fucking episode. <laughs> when I do cook, I I use onion powder. So you don't use actual do. onions? No. Onion powder and garlic powder. I put garlic powder on everything with garlic. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I put love- actual garlic and then sprinkle some garlic powder on it. I love me some Italian Welcome cologne. Welcome to the Hangover my, Cooking Show. Yes. How's it going? Bam! Anyway. Um, what the fuck was that? Garlic what? goes on everything. Garlic yes, goes on everything. You, you measure that shit with your heart. I was about to say, go ahead, babe. Heart. <laughs> uh, it says one tablespoon. You laugh and you add until... Makes a smiley face on the food. Oh, that's, that's like when you're making gumbo. You just start adding seasoning until you hear your ancestors say, that's enough, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what Sean like to do? Taste it? Like when you put the cayenne in there? Oh, that? my God. <laughs> Sean like to kill my mama one day. <laughs> Sean like to kill my mama. So, like, my mom's getting up there in age. So, she's having... <laughs> hey, mom. Yeah. My mom's getting up there in age a little bit. So, she's having a little more trouble with the, uh, the spice. Like, my dad, for instance, my dad's got, like, ulcers and shit, so, like, he can't just be eating spicy shit. And it was hilarious to me because, like, my dad, wow, my dad just refused to eat my gumbo because he's like, I know you got cayenne and shit in there. But my mom was like, yeah, just please, just um, just don't make it spicy, okay? Like, I love your gumbo. I love your gumbo. Just, she does not sound just that please, uh, um, awful. <laughs> just please don't, don't make it spicy, okay? Just please don't make it spicy. And I was like, all right, mom, I'll do my best. But then I invited Sean over to come test it while I'm making it. And Sean just kept coming over. And I swear to God, every 10 minutes, Sean would come, take a little spoon, 
grab grab some, take a sip, and go. More. <laughs> but you see that that's the beauty of gumbo. <clears throat> you can make a base gumbo, add no cayenne at all, and then when you make your bowl, touch me. And then when you make your bowl, add what you want. Right. That's the mm, beauty of it. My gumbo is so fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make yourself a bowl and not add nothing. <laughs> we can fight. We Get can fight on You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. I can promise you don't. Off, we can gumbo totally off, please? I'm totally okay with gumbo off. All right. The Toxicity Hangover Podcast gumbo off coming soon. <laughs> that, that is officially happening now. Zoe, I'm sorry. You're just seeing this. Apparently, I just roped us into a gumbo off. It's happening. Why, do they cook? Is she going to help you? I'm going to have her cutting an onion. I was about to say, I that shit. That's, on a I was about to say that's as far as it's going to go is I got the gumbo. Y'all just cut some shit for me. I got this. Facts. <laughs> I always cut the Facts. shit. Joe, how do you feel about my gumbo? You make seafood gumbo. I do. I do. I like, oh, chi- I like chicken. I do chicken and sausage. I'm not a huge fan of seafood Eat gumbo. One. Yeah, I was about to say that I, this is already biased. I already lose. No, y'all can still yeah. do it. I'm going to eat both of them and tell y'all. It, what, did I lose? No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of taking a sip of gumbo and getting a crab shell. You know what I'm saying? I, Crabs that are stupid in itself. Hurts my soul. Hurts nah, my soul. I, no, that I, that I do feel you on. I just, like, to me, if you're going to, like, do a gumbo, and this is just, just solely my opinion. If you're going to do a gumbo, I feel like a chicken and sausage stew is very different. Like, and then, and you're like, I see the way you're looking. Like you have like an insulted look on your face. And I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm wrong because I recognize that chicken and sausage can also be a gumbo. It's just the way I was raised. If you're gonna go through all that fucking trouble, you're putting fucking shrimp and you're putting crab meat and you're doing. That's just how I was. But then raised. I can make a shrimp stew. Yeah, but no, you can't. But no, it's chicken stew. No, you can do a shrimp stew. You don't want to do way. a shrimp stew. You're gonna just all make you- a gumbo. All the all Why are you doing this? Stew's delicious. Why are you all doing the this? all the differences is your roux is a little bit blonder. Is this because you know you're gonna lose? Oh, now <laughs> I'm just craving gumbo. Now I just want gumbo. You know what? We're not going to work tomorrow. We're just gonna stay up tonight and we're gonna cook some fucking gumbo. But anyway, to get back on fucking track, <laughs> there is nothing about cooking anything on that list <laughs> In, at all. Nothing at all. So Steve Harvey is under hot Boo. fire. He is under hot fire right now because fuck him. Uh, he why? Why I do you hate Steve it. Harvey? Hmm? Why don't you like Steve Harvey? He's a bitch and he's a sellout. Why? That's the most excited Joe's been all episodes. You see what I'm saying? What happened? What did he do? Uh, what did he do? He wrote that dumbass book. Which one? The the one when he fucking. Dimes out dudes everywhere. Oh, uh, fuck. That was Dimes the one that they made into a movie? Dudes? Huh? That was the one where they made the movie off of? Think Like a Man? Think Like a Man. Yeah, that was that dumbass shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, he's under fire right now because apparently he went and did Miss Universe again. And this time, he decided to tell a woman to make animal noises. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait, what? All right, look. When I you... need context. Someone from India. Let's throw that out there. Are you looking it up right now, dear? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, think about it, if you was looking it up. No, she, she wasn't. Said... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, because you know how like everybody's got their talent in that in that portion. Well, he apparently went from woman to woman and was just like, so like, oh, what do you plan on doing? Cool. When it comes to like Miss, if you win Miss Universe, and like he was asking all the other these other women like all these like great questions, and then he gets to this other woman and goes, "So I hear you can do animal noises." (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit! And then she did it. (laughs) And apparently, it was great. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Steve Harvey is a comedian. He is. Sure. What do you expect? I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know where people saw that going. But I, I expect Steve to try to get some funny shit out there. But apparently a lot of people were offended by it. But then I think she ended up winning. So, joke's <laughs> on you. I'm pretty sure she won. I'm pretty sure she won. I mean. <laughs> she did a meow. A cat, a cat's <laughs> meow. She did a cat's meow. That was that was the noise. 
Oh, so then she must have done a fire cat's meow, bro. That cat must have roared. She says she loves cats and does a pretty nifty impression of one. Anybody that uses the word nifty deserves to win. <laughs> Is her name Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Betty. Is there anything else in there? Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not that fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to hear this noise. I'm about to say, I really hope she went. <laughs> Are we allowed to like play it? I mean. Technically, like an angry cat meow. Yeah, I was about to say, find the clip, turn that down, find the clip, and then let us know when you have it. So I don't think this. I think this really pales in comparison to the day. Please turn it down. Pales in comparison to the time that he announced the wrong winner. Absolutely, that was fucking magical. After I, like, that's how you know it's trash. Because after I heard read this article, I went and looked that video up of him getting the winner wrong. Did you see that shit? Mm-mm. You've never seen that? Dude. No. Steve Harvey, he, he does not appeal to me at all. Steve Harvey is, I mean, he appeals to me, but like, no. Got this it. This had nothing to do with an appealing thing. This had to do with the fact that he, on stage at the Miss fucking Universe. What is that? Like, a- like all right, so you have, like, all right, so the way it works is, <clears throat> it starts off local. No, local. So, no, like, just like real quick, like, what is it like about? Like, is it like a, like a, it's a, a check me out, check me out, check me uh-huh. out. So it starts small. Local, and then you go state. Who wins Miss Louisiana? And then you, whoever wins Miss Louisiana is now Miss Louisiana. And then they do Miss USA. And then after they do Miss USA, it becomes Miss Universe. The uh, whole world, okay. all the countries. And he got up on stage. There was two women left. And he said the winner is such and such. The whole crowd went nuts. They put the crown on this woman's head. They put the sash on this bitch. They gave it a flowers. And then this man came out and said, all right. Uh, ah, fuck that. I may have made a boo-boo. <laughs> and this woman barely speaks English, so she's still just looking out in the crowd like, hey, mom. And then he was like, ah, take the crown off that bitch head. Damn, he crushed that hoe. Yeah, in the worst way. <laughs> yeah. You said you got it, babe? Yes. All right, put it close. We'll do it. Um, but I have to do this. I have no other option. Um, I love cats. I love animals. I would love to mimic a cat. Cat. Brace yourself, everyone. <laughs> All right, turn that shit off. Why are they cheering? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that was probably... My, shit, my, that shit, was, my the, shit was just way colder than that. Your shit was Son, Way colder than Son, that. You could, be Miss, you could be Miss Universe. That's what I'm saying. Dog. <laughs> Like that was that was the weakest cat noise I've ever heard. My I don't know. Joe, Joe don't have the hip structure. That shit was hot. That bitch said meow. That was how she opened a door. <laughs> <laughs> you close that fucking door, ma'am. Put some WD forty on that shit. Right. Lock picking niggas' doors. Like, oh right. my god. You are right. She is indeed the one that that won. She won. Yep. And uh, I feel like she won. Because of that question, they were like, holy shit, that's going to be like viral. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's going to go viral. Nobody watches this shit anymore. The woman that meowed has to win. <laughs> no, woman that meowed. Thank you, Steve Harvey. You helped her win. Yeah, you're always helping women win. <laughs> Stupid ass. God damn it. So, Joe. What? How about Jake Paul? Who? Oh. <laughs> oh. What about? Oh, boy, he boy. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently he fought Ty- Tyron Woodley last night. <laughs> he stoned that nigga's son. <laughs> Old. All right, let me preface with this. I never thought the day would come that I would say to Jake Paul. God damn it, man. I salute. Hey, but wait, I thought. <laughs> what did you think? I thought they could not knock each other out. No, that's bullshit. Which, which fight was that that we were talking about? No, so not, no, no. It was out. all bullshit. The, those have all been rumors since the... um. I'm very disappointed. The Tyson and... Was it Evander? Yes. Mm-hmm. Since that... Ex- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Roy. Roy. Roy Jones? Yeah. Since the Tyson, Roy Jones ex- exhibition, they were saying, oh, they can't knock each other out. Da, 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 da. That's why no, that was distance. a gentleman's agreement. That they weren't going to knock each other out. But... Somebody Yo. came somebody came out and they made a very good point. It is illegal to fix boxing matches. 
Absolutely. That is fixing a boxing match. Putting that you can't knock me out in a boxing match is fixing a boxing match. But the thing about it being an exhibition is it does not go to the pro card. Okay. So now those rules don't apply. Mm. So there could be something to that. I I love boxing. Mm? I think the idea of the celebrity matches is poisoning the sport of boxing. I'm going to get that out right now. 100%. 100%. Because at the end of the day, as big as UFC is to us, worldwide, boxing is still a multi-million dollar yeah. enterprise. Mm-hmm. It is worth way more than UFC 100%. is at this point. You know, fighters like Lomachenko mm-hmm. and Tyson Fury standing in the ring are some of the best to do it. Absolutely. So, these celebrity matches... Now, be honest. Jake Paul. <laughs> I've seen a couple of videos saying he fixed that it looks fixed. Yeah. I completely disagree. Really? Because you're not going to tell me that that fight was fixed and Tyson Fury knew that pu- that punch was coming. No, that bitch came out of his grandmother's basement. <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> there was Son. a there was a melatonin gummy on the tip of that boxing glove, <laughs> bro. He hit that man so hard he went into the mirror realm with Doctor Strange. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that shit was horrifying. That shit looked like an anime fight. He hit you him rem- so hard, he punched the water jutsu out of him. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember in the trailer of Spider Man No Way Home when Doctor Strange hits Spider Man and like his his soul his comes soul? out of him? That's what happened. That's what happened in the fucking. Room. <laughs> he just liked putting niggas in that position. You know what I'm saying? Like you remember how he did Nick Robinson? It was yeah. the same position. Just... <laughs> Nate Nate. That dude had, <laughs> your boy had dude wipes on his butt too, which made it even funnier because that's all you saw was dude wipes across the screen when he landed on that mat. And my favorite part about it is always the memes that come out the it's next It's always time. amazing. Oh, dude, the internet don't sleep. They do not sleep. Tom Brady to this day is the only man to beat the internet. I saw, right. I saw one today that said, has anyone... Has anyone checked on Tyrone Woodley? Is he still sleeping? <laughs> they said, nah, he's on the beach. And it's just a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right, y'all got anything else before we wrap this shit up? It was raining iguanas in Florida the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Nicole's aunt, who is petrified of lizards. And that's all I, uh, as soon as I saw that video, that's all I thought was I need to send this to, we need to go vacationing in Florida with your aunt when it starts raining iguanas in the streets. That's not like, that's not, you know, the black dude from Family Guy, like the news dude. <laughs> it's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah. It's raining iguanas. It's yeah, raining it's, iguanas. It's not like you wrote that shit. <laughs> raining lizards. <laughs> it's yeah. Raining sideways. So uh, go watch that video if you get a chance of it raining iguanas in Florida. That shit was fucking magic. You all right, dear? Yeah, I'm just looking at what's left on the board. I mean, you we're have almost. a terrible ability to see where I'm looking. Oh. I'm looking that way. I feel like so... that's a skill he hasn't unlocked yet. <laughs> I mean, what there you was, what you lo- what you looking for? You got everything you need right there. You hear me? Uh, <laughs> there was something uh, on the table next to Scott earlier. So, with that and I was being said, at it, and he's looking at me. Hold on. He's like in the middle of me and said table. Right. But he's looking at me, trying to figure out where I'm looking, and I'm staring at the object that I told him was right in front of him. Right. And then. <laughs> No, go ahead, because I'll have to fuck your whole world up. He keeps looking, like, right in front of where I'm, like, right in front of me, instead of looking at the object that I'm looking at. Yeah. He's like, where is it? True. It's real true. And he just, he's looking, like, here. And I'm like, yeah. Crazy. But I'm not looking there. I'm looking over there. Why didn't you go get it yourself? Hold on, Joe. I got this. Joe, hold on. Joe, I don't need no help. Joe, I don't need no help. Hey, babe, where's the baby? With the baby sitting. No, 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 no. The other night. Up, where's the baby? <laughs> where was the baby, dear? You lost the baby? You yeah, lost she lost the baby. She lost the baby. No, hold on. Hold on. No, I'll let her tell it. The other day, we're sitting on the couch, enjoying our night, watching a movie. She looks up at me horrified and goes, Babe, where's the baby? And what happened, babe? What happened, babe? Fuck you. No, tell him what happened. 
I don't want to tell. Look right there. Okay, <laughs> let's also point out that Scott's been enjoying his. Where was the baby? Sleep. Where was the baby? Other Where was the baby? <laughs> have been waking up. True. Where was so the baby? I don't baby? think I've slept more than four hours in the past three Where months. Was the baby. He, it was on my boob. He was on my boob. What the fuck? He, he was feeding. The on baby me. was eating from her boob, <laughs> and she looked at me and said. Scott, where's the baby? <laughs> you have somehow taken that good old joke of where are my glasses? Glasses are sitting on your phone. Uh-huh. And yes. one upped it. Yes. <laughs> Looking for your phone. We were watching <laughs> something and I looked at him and normally like in the evening time after I feed the baby and stuff, like Scott holds him. Yeah. So I get like that time away. And I'm just sitting there and I just I didn't feel him apparently eating and <laughs> I'm like Scott. Where's the baby? Wow! <laughs> and then I and then I looked down, and she went. <laughs> That's like being on the phone and like yo, like hold on, I gotta find my phone. Like, okay. <laughs> I've done it. Switch, I've done it. Switching hands and like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, never mind. Driving your, <laughs> driving your car, looking for your car keys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap up. But like my favorite video that I've seen lately is like this trend going around where it's like dude has his hands stuck in a uh, uh, a glass. Like, he's, like, washing dishes oh, and his yeah. hand gets stuck in the glass. And he's like, help, help, somebody help. And then, like, his mom comes in and he's like, yeah, I can't get my hand out. Maybe soap will help. And he takes his hand out, puts the soap in his hand, and then goes, oh, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> and, like, the parents don't catch on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, y'all got anything else? Yeah, man. Shout out to the dude that came in the bathroom singing while I was taking a shit. <laughs> what? That dude came in, he came in the fucking bathroom. Like I'm in now taking a shit. You Wait, know? so that didn't bother you like everything else does? It it did, but like it was kind of my fault, you know what I'm saying? Because you know you gotta give you gotta give like dudes heads up. Like when you go in the bathroom, you gotta do like the Indeed. Or like make a noise and like you know, <clears throat> come in here, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. nigga came in there singing his heart out, you hear me? <laughs> like I'm talking about oh, no, 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 like going crazy. I'm just like this nigga's serious right now. I'm trying to watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> And shout out to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. For real. Shout out to the guy that almost ran headfirst into the car while I was driving our son around the parking lot because he was playing Fast and the Furious and I interrupted him. Uh, shout out to you, man. <laughs> he had the nerve to flick you off. No, he flipped me off because I was going straight where, like, you know, the road is. I had the right of way. And he was cutting across aisles of unpa- the like, park empty of parking life. spots. And almost ran headfirst into me because I was refusing to slow down. I'm like, I have the right of way. And then I finally said, okay, well, I have my son in the car. So I slowed down. And then he went around me and flipped me off the whole time. And it was just like, oh, I'm sorry I interrupted your Vin Diesel dreams. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you were drifting, bro? Question. Yeah. Call me next time. I'll add his kneecaps to my collection. Hey. <laughs> what you got, babe? Is it flick or flip? Flip. Flipped. Flip. Both. Both of them. Flick them I off. Say, I say flick off. Oh, yeah. Flick them off. Same thing. Flick off or you flip them off. Tossing the bird. <laughs> he gave me the only finger that mattered. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. As always, thank you for your support. And if you enjoyed the show, please rate and review on iTunes or wherever you're listening right now. Starting with Mr. TRTL. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> and fired. <laughs> uh, Mr. Average Joe. L-E if, if he If he doesn't go second, he gets so confused. <laughs> L-E underscore average underscore J-O-B-E on Instagram. Jovid19 on Twitter. Ah, Miss Nick- Wicked. Miss Nikki P. What? What was that last thing? Bro, you have TikTok. I know you seen what? that video. Chicken Wicked. Chicken Wicked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. My Hello. algorithm mm-hmm. is nothing but babies and cats right now. Miss Nikki P. Anyway. N I K K I underscore N P for Instagram. <laughs> and oh. I, th- I think my Twitter is that too, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. But I don't really use Twitter, so. And her birthday coming up, she old as fuck, boy. Potter. Come celebrate with me, but only if you're buying me alcohol. And bringing your dog. And bringing your dog. Bottom of the night. Mr. Jason <laughs> Different. <laughs> <laughs> You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, JDUF17. And don't you have some businesses? Ah, um, I mean, we got S&J Event Services. We mm-hmm. do a little bit of everything. If you're having a party, a birthday party, a wedding, Try get anniversary drunk. party. A baby shower. Baby shower. Came through, they, they came through clutch for the baby shower. They did, indeed. If you need tables, tents, chairs, inflatables, from water slides to everything else. Tables. <laughs> 
If you need a mechanical bowl, DJ service, sparklers, go go bowl bowl? Yes. You didn't bring it to the fucking the, uh, the baby shower? We have a little bit of everything. Oh. S and J Event Services. You can find us on Facebook at S and J Event Services LLC. Can you give me a job? I'm about to quit mine. Bro, I've been talking to you for months about trying to get you a job. Oh, man. So is that it? We already did you on on one job. So is that it? Yeah, uh, yep, that's it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, I'm like five beers deep, half a bottle of fucking vodka, and I've been drinking the champagne. He's spilled. All right, well, we've officially taken him from the other podcast, so I guess he doesn't need to mention them. So, oh yeah, the toxicity. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you, now you cool, you cool. No, you good. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I still love you. Joe can't spell it. We've been trying all day. I um, say it right. Y'all say it wrong. It's toxic it. Toxicity podcast. You can find us on Spotify, YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube at toxicity. Joe, how do you spell it? Hmm? Exactly. Toxic it. Toxic it. There you go. <laughs> what it is. So you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us at The Hangover Podcast and on Twitter at The Underscore Hangover Pod. Thank you for having a drink with us. Tom Holland wants to quit. Re- <laughs> stop acting to focus on a family. Go fuck yourself. Steve Harvey needs to stop with the bullshit. Raining iguanas are yeah. awesome. Jake Paul knocked that boy the fuck out. No. And uh, Hannibal needs to stop stabbing referees in the fucking head. He get wicked. <laughs> Thank y'all for having a drink with us. This is the Hangover Podcast. Happy birthday, Nikki. Thank you. Woo-woo. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And thank you for listening. Just woke up, couple daddies from the club dealing with this. <laughs>